Well, it's that time again. And, uh, this time I am ready. This time I actually got some sleep today. I, I elected to work from home today, and that kind of means I, I took a nap during lunchtime. Don't tell my boss. Okay, so, welcome back to Pokemon Sword and Shield. Uh, we just beat the sixth boss, the sixth gym leader, Melanie, who is exclusive to Pokemon Shield. Now we are on the road to... somewhere! Actually, where am I even going? Just heading to the restaurant, I guess, meeting up with Sonya. Yeah, we don't know who the next gym leader is. Uh, we don't even know where we're supposed to be going next. I... assume... somewhere around, uh, here on the map? This city over here? Spikemouth. Spikemouth. Uh, it sounds like a very edgy place. Besides that, all we got is heading back to Modestoke, or heading back to Hammerlock to fight Raihan and the Pokemon League. So we are right there. We are right there. We are at the last stretch of the game, I think. I don't know how much of the story is going to, like, interrupt us in, like, you know, as, as Pokemon usually does. You know, saving the world, um, catching whatever legendary monster... But, uh, it's nice that we're, we're, we're just having a, a nice little romp through Galar. You know, do kid taking care of our own priorities, you know? Got that big gym badge, Manoka. Nice one. Oh, hey, there you are. I already like this restaurant tenfold. What kind of food do you think they serve here? What's up? How you doing? Uh, I've been trying to find out more about the Darkest Day and the Sword and Shield Pokemon, but still no luck. What? Do they really have ancient tapestries inside this tacky-ass restaurant? Oh, I said a word. Okay, then. I hope it's just a reproduction. Wait, hold on! Go away! What's this? <laughs> Why is this just here? Uh, d d d d a, a new chapter, a fifth task, an absolutely fantastic poster! <laughs> That's all it is. Why do I think the Sendiscorch is here? I assume he's like helping out the chef. He doesn't really seem like a waiter, unless he's here to just like heat up the food while while, while, while people aren't eating it. He, he, what, in that case, what's he not doing? Why is he not in the kitchen then? Hmm. It's a, it's a great poster. <laughs> yes, that's what I was looking at. Exactly! Bob, with his brilliant smile, must be part of the legend! Wait, what are you on about? D don't confuse me! The heroes look sad. And where are the sword and shield? I don't know, maybe the... Maybe they were cut out of the picture. Maybe part of the tapestry burnt down. The scent of scorch is the food. Ah, uh, yes, excellent source of protein. This is just Bear Grylls' restaurant. Yeah, you know, it's Galar, it's the UK. What was the meaning of this picture? Some kind of seal? An end to the legend? Hmm. Perhaps when their duty was completed, they went into some kind of sleep? Based on the statues we saw back in Stoneside, the sword and shield were actually two Pokemon, right? That's right. That's my take on it, at least. You remember the Pokemon we met that day? Do you think it could have been one of them? Either the sword or the shield Pokemon. You... Yep, then. Come on! You know what I'm talking about, right, Minette, Monica? In the slumbering wield? Okay, my memory is bad, but it's not that bad, Hop. Exactly! The mad Pokemon we ran into the fog! Don't you think we could have been it? Oh, that's right! You lot have been in the slumbering wield! Wield! I still love that word. I looked it up, it just means forest, but it's a really fancy word for one. I'm gonna start calling every forest I see a wield from now on. This restaurant is possessed by Bear Grylls. I... I didn't know he was dead. I guess wild one, after all. I only started on this journey because my grand told me to, but this is turning out to be too much fun. You've got to tell me more. How about we discuss this over a meal? Go on, what do you want to eat? Let's get our orders in. I guess I'll have the uh, fried scent scorch. It's already, it's already fried itself. Yes, priceless ancient tapestry in this restaurant. T totally. It's, it's, I, I, I'm i sure they, they paid a pretty penny at an auction for it. Uh, you know, we just, we just found it in the ground. On the ground next to the uh, 
other ancient tapestries inside that one vault. Fascinating. All right, the next thing we have to do now that we're done eating is to have a look around Sirchester. Let's inspect the hero's bath. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. Sonia, don't get any ideas now. Inspect the bath, not the people in the bath. Fa 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 Oh, I see. He's he's uh he's he's the guy taking our orders. He he's like table for two. Yeah. You must have a proper meal first if you want to have a proper battle. But not everything's about Pokemon battling in this world, old man. The field here is out of this world. It's worth coming here just for this, even if it means going out of your way. Talking about work doing a meal. What are you trying to do? Ruin your own food? I'm multitask. I can't believe... I, I can't remember the last time I've eaten anything without doing something else at the same time. Like, even at work, we just, like, play board games while we're, while we're eating. Many, many of the card games I brought to work are just covered in food. Isn't this a nice tapestry? I bought it at the antique market. <laughs> what antique market? The museum? This dish is cooked to perfection! It's juicy but not overly soft and gives you something to really bite into! I must send the cook my compliments! Are you sure this is a child? Wow, getting started early with food criticism. He's, he's, that, he's, he's the guy from Ratatouille, that food critic, but he's it's when he's still a child and he's still not like, jaded to the world. I absolutely adore watching my child eat! He looks so happy and content! I think that's supposed to be the sign of a good mother. Hello there! Welcome to Bob's Your Uncle! You're not leaving here without enjoying a delicious meal first. What if I told you I don't have money? Th that's a big lie. I'm actually loaded with dosh. <laughs> uh, I could I could spend a lot more money on clothing, but you know what? Let let's be conservative. I'm I'm still miffed that we didn't get Melanie's big old coat. It's supposed to be a replica of her outfit, right? The hero's bath. They say that this is where the two heroes came to soothe their wounds after the battle to bring down that evil presence long ago. Nowadays, only Pokemon really use the hero's bath, though. And I don't even see any in there right now. Hmm. Who exactly were the heroes that bathed here? I think I'll have to look into that. Don't lie, Sonya. You just want to find that, um, that art on the internet, you know? Hmm. You two met a mysterious Pokemon back in the slumbering wield. Perhaps you two can become new heroes? Which one of us is the sword and which one is the shield? Can I just get both? I don't trust Hop with any sort of weaponry. You tried gacha gaming the, the, the random emo function with the channel points, but it turns out you can get duplicates. Oh, I see. Twitch is on to you. That being said, nice emotes. What, like some hero waving around a sword and shield? Pull the other one. Th though I guess I'd fancy a sword if I had to take my pick. Can we just give Hop a suit of armor that is so heavy that he's immobile? At least that way we know he'll stay safe. I don't know. I don't trust him not to get into trouble. What kind of battle do you think the heroes had back then? Why don't we show him, Minoka? Think we can pull off a real heroic battle? Give me a minute. I'm not ready. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, all right. I'm down to see what his new team consists of. Yeah, maybe it's maybe he's got six Pokemon now. I hope finally. So yeah, treated us to a great meal. After that curry, I feel like I've got the energy to wrestle up beware. Again, I don't trust him. He's gonna get himself killed with that attitude. Let 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 let's knock all the energy out of him right now before he goes wandering into the wild area. I don't entirely understand your reasoning, but I might as well just see what you can do. I'll heal up your Pokemon for you, Minoka. So give it a, your best. Sonya, get it right. My name is Monica. Just Monica. Time for a little exhibition match, starring the future champion. There's that attitude. There's the hop we know and love. All right, let's see. You are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Hop. He's got five. It's not six. And I see you got your Wulu. You got your Wulu again, and he's evolved. I don't remember, was he evolved last time? I'm counting on you, partner! Look at this, this is kind of inspiring, actually. Growing up with your childhood Pokémon, and uh, forcing them to be do battle for you. 
Isn't it just romantic? All right, I think we can take a hit from double. So let's bulk up with uh, with, with Sakura. Now, I I might have an idea what the next gym type is. Okay, I'm gonna say I held off on saying this last time, but I know that the next gym type is dark because uh, for the online functions, you can select an avatar, and of the avatars are the several gym types. Now, there's something interesting about the logo for the dark gym that I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to know yet, but you know, the game just wanted to spoil me. So, you know, it is what it is. But I won't, I won't let it, I won't let anybody else know what it is in case anybody out there watching on Twitch or on YouTube is worried about spoilers. Hammer arm! I really like the animation for this move. Oh wow, really? Even with a bulk up, it's not gonna do it. No, that's a proper move! Lulu wasn't in the last fight. I wonder why he got rid of him. Maybe he was so depressed by Beide's complete and utter trouncing of him that he felt like he couldn't trust his Wulu to get beat up that badly again. Hmm. You always swept hot with your Rookadee with Home Claws and Power Trip. I mean, it's relatively easy to actually put together a decent team of Pokemon and absolutely sweep all the trainers. Whether you're overleveled or whether you're actually just just keeping like one consistent Pokemon that can kill everything, I'm not just going at my own pace. I'm trying to like go against the balancing of this game that tries to make it easy for newcomers and anybody who basically keeps a consistent team. I'm constantly like swapping out Pokemon whenever I whenever I get the chance. I think we have a pretty consistent team now. Um, at some point, I'm gonna want to evolve Sakura into a into a Conkleder. Oh, that's not super effective. I guess Steel Resist. I don't quite remember. Not out of the top of my head. Let's go ahead with Hammer Arm, maybe. It's not going to be super effective either because of the flying type. But you know what? As long as Sakura's out and okay. Honestly, Girder and Conkleder are, are just beasts. Dang! My speed drops ever lower. And maybe if I just tank long enough, then then a Corviknight. Wait a minute, Corviknight gets hit by the hail? I guess hail is not Sandstorm. It does hit Steel types. All right, let's go switch out someone else. Oh, we still have Toasty in our team. I meant to switch him out. Hmm. The only fights he had challenges were Nessa and Leon. Nessa, I. Absolutely destroyed Nessa at the very least. Leon, help! All right, all right, all right. Overdrive, let's go. Yeah, I, 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 I do, I do think I, I have heard, I have heard that Hop definitely gets better, especially in the post game. I can't wait to see him. I can't see him. I, I can't, I can't see him as any sort of threat at the moment. So that's going to be exciting. It's going to be really exciting. I, I'm, I'm guessing like uh, this is what I imagine basically um, like basically like the Pokemon anime where the Pokemon League is this whole affair where everyone is you know competing against each other but this game more than the others is kind of building up a lot of other challengers my age like Hot, Beide, and Marnie well I guess that's all of them basically a lot of people that I would have traveled either alongside or met along in my travels so that we eventually meet on the battlefield on the Pokemon League. It's gonna be real cool, I bet. Don't feature wants to learn Curse. Ah, uh, although Curse does not work the same way for non-ghost types as it does for ghost types. Oh, okay. Okay, the, the description of Curse is literally, it just works differently. Uh, that's cool and all, but can I get a reminder of what it does for non-ghost types? I think for non-ghost types, it just changes your stats. Um, for ghost types, it does that thing where it halves their HP and then puts a curse on the other person. Hmm. Cinderace. All right, okay. Going out with your mainstay, your 
<laughs> your your starter, which I forgot to put back into my party. I was gonna switch out Toasty for my starter. I guess we'll try something else then. Let's see, fire type. Ah, uh, we got a rock type move on Sakura. Do we have anything else? Nah, let's just use Sakura. She can probably take a hit. Once again, Girder coming in clutch. I don't know how, how, I don't know how like hard Leon's gonna be as a fight. Uh, I remember fighting Kukui back in Sun and Moon, and that actually gave me a run for my money, mostly because I um have a taste of our true power. Our flames are burning bright. I definitely uh, tried to balance that Pokemon Sun and Moon. Ow! Oh. What move was that? I didn't pay attention. I underestimated you. I underestimated you. All right, what else do we got? I don't think we have that many other moves. Maybe we'll just try to power him out with Gutsy Bat. Draco Meteor. At least if he gets one hit in, that's what base power 200-ish. Right. Uh, in Pokemon Sun and Moon, I kind of balanced turning on and off the EXP share. Turning, having it off more often than on. So I was pretty much underleveled for most of the game, and that was... That was fun. Mega kick here! You'll survive, right? No! Like you said, Ferrothorn is best as a tanky staller. Yeah, yeah, sad, sure. Tend to send out the Pokemon that's four times weak to fire against the fire type. I thought... I'd I'm sure it's bulky enough that even if I get hit by the four times fire, he'll probably survive. But then I'm not sure what I do. Suicide mission, let's go. Pyro Ball, 120 power physical fire type move. That would explain why I totally die to it. Well, if he uses it, if he uses it again, comfy chair is probably going to be a comfy pile of pile of pile of scrap. All right, whatever happens, he's not surviving this attack. Four times weakness, let's go, baby! Dead! Yeah! Nice. So here's what here's what I can do. I can just send out all my Pokemon, revive them all, and eventually Cinderace will die to the hail. Easy. Alright, we're sending in Toasty back in, and we're gonna heal Sakura. I'm sure that at full health, that even with Pyro Balls, Sakura won't die. We got items, that's what the story mode of Pokemon's all about. I could just end up using a Max Revive, or an Energy Root, or a Revival Herb, rather. I got plenty. You just find these out in the wild area. Like, they really, really provide you with cheese items without even trying to get them. Bum, bum, bum. Nope, not fast enough to self-destruct, that's for sure. Uh, toasty. Looking pretty toasty. What would I even do? Stall out as long as I can. Just leech life him. Not very effective, but I can heal a little bit at least. That actually did a lot of damage. I'm surprised. I expected it to do like a sliver. Counter! Oh. That was a roller coaster of emotion right there. I healed health by doing damage, and then I just got damaged by a move that was based on the amount of damage I did to him. We just basically traded HP back and forth. Oh, yo! Cinderace is... He's just a strong lad. I'm actually jealous that I don't have one. I have a score bunny. I was able to trade for one. Maybe I should evolve it before the Elite Four. Alright, Sakura, I choose you. Now you get why they gave your rival the start of a type disadvantage. So it doesn't live long enough to see this kind of bull happen. Nah, well, once again, I'm not the most efficient Pokemon player. I remember back when Sun and Moon came out, uh, my friend was basically heck bent on using competitive teams from the get go. Just setting up on every single in game trainer and demolishing them. That's fun in its own way, but I don't got the patience for that. 
Sakura, 45, let's go. Easy. I was about to send out Snorlax. A lot of Pokemon weak to what Sakura's got. Funny type moves, rock type move, ground type move. Alright, uh, Snorlax will probably let me set up again. Probably. I'm not sure what you're gonna do. You're probably gonna stockpile or something. Also, did he have a Snorlax last time? I know somebody did. Thanks, Wig. What's up? How you doing? Hope you're well. Comfy chair. Yes, that is what I've named my Ferrothorn. What, what, don't you just wanna 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 sit on him? He looks so comfortable. Uh, yeah, we are fighting Hop after taking down Melanie, the sixth gym leader. Uh, making our way to the next town, making our way to the next gym. First of all, trying to figure out the mysteries of Galar. The lore! So far, in like a, a contrast to most of the other Pokemon games, instead of immediately going out and saving the world, we're just kind of going on a school field trip. Uh, joining the professor's granddaughter in, you know, just learning the history of the region. I like their- I appreciate the history lesson. I hope it amounts to something by the end of all this, but uh, yeah. I'm enjoying it. How are you doing? How was your day? How was everyone's day so far? Hope, is wh hope it was well. It is a Tuesday. And that's all I can really say about that. Uh, you were sending out- what were you sending out? I totally didn't pay attention. You do cr uh, think you got me cornered? Not even close! It'll be the greatest when I steal this win back! Steal it with a pin kerchin. I haven't even seen this Pokemon yet. I thought- hmm. For a second I thought this would be like the Galarian form of Pukumuku or something. Ah, it looks like it's new. What type is this? What? Why? Water? I was gonna take a blind guess. Yeah. It is a Tuesday. I worked from home today so that I wouldn't have to like leave the house. Uh, work's going pretty uh, smoothly lately because we are. I'm a programmer and we're currently in what is known as code freeze. Which means we don't do anything in fear that we break something before the holidays. It's a very chill time of the year. I'm loving it. You did some Pokemon raids today. Ooh, it's a pointy type. I don't remember that. Okay, I'm, I, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna level with everybody. I know this type. This Pokemon's an electric type. <laughs> so that's why I picked uh, Dig. Not enough to take it out though. I think. Yeah, here we go. We move first, so as long as I'm underground, you'll probably die from either the hail or the dig. Dun 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 ba ba dun dun. Yeah, I, I, I kind of do want to make a Cinderace, because I've been thinking of what fire type to put on my team. Um, I was thinking either training up the Growlithe that we have. The scooby doo doo Ruby doo we doo ruh -ru. Or, uh, something else, maybe. We haven't seen that many fire types. So, Cinderace, I could just have two stars on my team. I'd be totally down with that. Score Bunny is adorable. Uh... It's actually electric. That too. How many perfect IDs did o IV dittos did I get? Uh, I, I don't have any, any in this game, but uh, I had a bunch from, you know, sources back in the 3DS days. Back then, it was really easy to have this little web server that spoofed event, po event, event Pokemon events, and you could just like give out anything from your router. But you know. I only spoofed Pokemon that you could totally get from actual events, like... Arceus. I still can't even beat you, my true rival. But I think I'm starting to see the light. I can finally see the light. I'm glad that you do, Hop. And I hope that it makes you come out stronger after all of this. Make an opponent worthy of someone who knows how to have a full team. At the very least, because I am not the master of Pokemon. I'm still on my road to be a master. Pokemon master. I will be writing a brand new chapter. Thanks! You two gave a right proper battle. At the rate you two are both going, even the unbeatable Leon may be trouble. So what's next, you two? I plan to look into things in the slumbering world. You know what? That should have been the first place we looked. Me and Hop just keeping mum about the whole giant shield dog we saw. 
I guess if the legends kind of obscure the existence of these Pokemon, then we wouldn't really know that that thing was anything special. We might have thought it was just a big old Houndoom or something. How can you do that? You want a perfect ditto? Well... Uh, yeah, pretty much people just have those. They're everywhere. And I, I have no qualms about people using them to breed, because sometimes people just straight up hack Pokemon. So you know what? At the very least, you're breeding for actual Pokemon. Um, there's a thing you can download. I forgot the name of it. But it works on your router and like, it, it, it uses your computer to, to spoof like one of those event spots. And then you can connect to it with any DS Pokemon game. Uh, I can look for it. I can look for it after this cutscene. I'm going to keep challenging that gym. Then, once I get that gym badge, I'll be heading for Route 9 to take on Spike Myth next. Oh. Seems like he finally shook off that gloom. Leon would worry if Hot wasn't feeling alright. As his rival, you wouldn't like it either, right? See ya. What do you mean, just see ya? Don't you want to talk about our feelings? Don't you want to talk about whether or not... I don't know. Apparently, people don't have deep relationships with Pokemon. It's just like, yeah, he's the rival. He, sir, he lives only to be defeated by me. Uh, It didn't have a shield when we saw it, so it was just a big dog. You know what? That's true. It was kind of like, just hairy dog. Alright, okay. Uh, are we damaged after that battle? I would like to check. We definitely are. Whoops. Losing out on three of our Pokemon. Unlike previous games, uh, putting Pokemon back to the box does not heal them. Uh, which makes sense, because you can just swamp Pokemon out at any time, or else you just get a full heal after every battle. So we're heading on back to the Pokemon Center. And, uh, what's up? Hope you're well. Hope you're doing good. I hope the stream helps you relax, whether you had a good day or a bad day. We're here. I'm here. Could be some background noise, you know? Pokemon Center. Yeah! Alright, now that some people are here, I'd like to... announce a random thing. Um, I got a... Some people may or may not know that I bought this giant box of Kit Kats. Actually, I bought a huge load of Kit Kats. But the most important thing is this giant box because it is a variety pack. They call it the variety party pack or uh, variety variety party box. You can kind of see on the top there. It's from Japan. It has Japanese Kit Kats. It has 20 different flavors. 60 pieces in total. And this is going to be my gateway into flavorland of Kit Kat awesomeness. I I I'm gonna do a thing where I try one at the beginning of each stream. Just so uh, I can see what's good and what's not. There are definitely a lot of flavors here I've not tried, despite be having tried a lot of Japanese Kit Kats in the past. Today, I don't have a picture of it. But we do have... Uh, I have to read the packaging, because it's in Japanese. It doesn't say it anywhere in English. Ramu re zin. Rum raisin. That makes sense, because it has a picture of rum and a bowl of raisins. All right, let's taste it. Hmm. Oh. Oh, yeah, there's definitely alcohol flavor in there. You know what? Yeah, the Kit Kat label actually says there's 0.06% alcohol in this. Okay. It's really good, though. I like it. Sort of grapey flavor. Eating stream. All right. Well, if anybody wants to unfollow now for me committing the act of eating on stream, I, I apologize, but this is a thing I'm going to do now. That's tasty. I like it. All right, let's check out what our team makeup is. Let's take out Toasty. We don't need him anymore. We never ended up actually using him. Yeah, I, I think for sure. Um... At the very least, before the end of the game, I want to have this score bunny grow up big and strong. And then maybe... Yeah, I don't need this Surfetched anymore. Uh, he had a good run, but I think he uh, will live on as an undefeated champion. You know, just like, uh, just like, just, just like Flavio. Where is my Spizolotl? Inteleon. There you go. Sweet. Wrong one. Only slightly underleveled. Even after all that. Yeah. 
Thank Twig really wants some Japanese Kit Kats. You're particularly interested in matcha. Matcha is definitely my kind of gateway Kit Kat drug. It's definitely the, the flavor that got me into the alternate flavors. Uh, and the one that taught me that Kit Kats in Japan, as well as pretty much every country but the US, are made by Nestle, not Hershey. And they are delicious. Route 9. Hmm. Vinny, thanks for the host. How are you, my friend? Hope you're doing well. Draw a face in the Kit Kat box with a paint program and make it the stream buddy. If I had uh, X Split, there'd be a way to do that without opening another program. I'll just. Ha how about I just do this? Actually, I I, I can meet you halfway. Put the box in the corner. And how's this for a face? Hold on. Hold on. Welcome, box! You are close to not knowing the glory of different flavors of Kit Kat. <laughs> Pretty good. Alright, what's the way to Route 9 from here, actually? Yeah. How do I know what alcohol tastes like? Oh! Oh, you know, as a chicken, I like to eat fermented berries from time to time. Thanks week has a Gigantamax Centus course. You named it Mushu. Oh, that's amazing. That is exactly the first thing I, 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 I thought of back when Cabo used... Ka Cabo, not Cabo. That's a part of Mexico. Back when Cabo Gigantamaxed his Centus course for the first time, I really wanted to see one. Are you a trainer or are you one of those fishermen that give me stuff? You are a trainer. Uh, I can't wait till we get whatever replaces Surf. Go fight you. Let's get some experience. Are we getting gym music soon? You are close to giving me a break. Breaking the Kit Kat. You missed the gym. Do it again. Oh, I would love to. I'm sure a lot of people would love to see Melanie again. I'm just saying. How far are you in the game, Vinny? I don't know if you've gotten that much time to play. Barraskuda? Are you from this gen or are you new? But that, that, that's the same thing. Are you from a previous gen or are you new? I wonder if you evolved from a uh, bar 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 boach. It should be a water type. Let's go with comfy chair. Could have gone with tingle, but comfy chair needs a little bit of experience. You beat the game in post game. You're hooked on max raids. Ooh. All right. Uh, as I said last time. Uh, if you guys would keep an eye out on any max raids that, if you'd like me to join, I'd, I'd be glad to help you guys out, or rather, you guys help me out, since I'm not done with the game yet. Uh, last time we got a Gigantamax Butterfree. I think, I'm hoping this time we can get either a Scorch or an Alchemy, or, you know, anything. Pretty much anything, I've been missing out. Arascuda! I'm guessing you're... Dark... Water? Dark Water! I like your little propeller tail. It's kind of silly, actually. Like, what kind of... What kind of evolutionary trait of, uh, results in you having a bottom half that can swivel around at 360 degrees? That is a mechanical amazing... That is mechanically amazing. That is a mechanical amazing. Oh, score money getting swole! Thank Twig says, Melanie's alright. She's no Steven Stone. That is true. Steven is very, very hard to compete with. Uh, Gen 3, Hoenn. I, I can't I, I wonder... I wonder if they're gonna call back to... Or, I wonder if they're gonna do more stuff with Hoenn. They already had the remix, but they're, they seem to be mentioning it a lot more these days, with Kabu originally being from Hoenn. And uh, one of the Elite Four from Hoenn being a... Almost shoe in for being from Alola, Phoebe. Look at that strong bunny. Wait, I think you're gonna evolve right now. Double kick. Yeah, sure. I'd imagine anybody playing this blind would be very worried once he learned double kick that he would turn into another firefighting. I don't think he does. I think Cinder Cinderace is just fire. I believe he is. Double kick. 
And what else? Flame charge? Yeah, heck yeah. You are a physical attacker, so let's get a Vember. Vinny would gladly help out with raids. You can't get Gigantamax Centiscorch. It's a shield exclusive. Oh, it is. Huh. Never knew that. Okay. Well, I'll keep an eye out then. You can if other people post the raid. We gotta get the ninja bunny! He kinda goes from a ninja to a soccer star. I don't know, he just decided to change professions. Well, when you think about it, Sobble is kind of the same way, huh? Lantern, that is... I think it's just water or electricity? Oh, we can actually keep out Comfy Chair. I can't believe I'm seriously calling a living creature a Comfy Chair. He is, though. I really like, I really like the, the, the Score Bunny line. You forgot where, but you saw someone theorize that Kabu is Flannery's grandfather. Yeah, that, that came up while uh, I was fighting him. Um, way back, a few streams ago. I really like that theory. I, uh, well, not her, hmm. Not her grandfather? Maybe her father? Because doesn't her grandfather appear in the game? I forget. Somebody related to her appears in Gen 3. And he has, like, a name. Or at least he's mentioned by name. Like, if you look at Bulbapedia, it says that Flannery... It says Flannery's grandfather's name is, like, Mr. Moore. So unless Kabu's name is Kabu Moore, then maybe not directly her grandfather. Or maybe she's her grandfather on the other side of the family. Could be. Scorbunny wants to learn agility. Ah... For the most part, people don't really use agility. As far as I know, at least competitively. They kind of just count on their Pokemon either being naturally fast or having, you know, like Swords Dance or something. Stronger one always wins. How simple. You don't mind Monotype starters, to be honest. I kind of miss them. I, I like the kind of basic simplicity. Well, there he is. But can't he stay cute just a little bit longer? You were afraid of another firefighting, but it's just fire. You're a little bit disappointed. No, I'd rather have just fire at this point. What if he just turned into Incineroar, but a bunny? <laughs> just a big old wrestling rabbit man. <laughs> That'd just be a kick in the face to everybody. <laughs> They'd just patch him into Super Smash Brothers as a skin. Raboot! You know what? I never named him. Historically, you haven't been able to rename Pokemon you get in a trade, but it looks like you can in this gen because I was able to rename some other Pokemon I got without realizing it. It kicks it kicks berries right off the branches of trees and then juggles them with its feet, practicing its footwork. Wow. You're gonna become Hokage in, in no time, Mr. Raboot. I'm actually gonna go to the Pokemon Center to rename this rabbit j j just while we're here. Is that an Eviolite on Toxtricity? It shouldn't be. Is it? Oh, you know what? It's because I took it off of... Um, I took it off of... The Hatchering. The Hatchering that we had. Uh, because it evolved. Um, just holding it for now. Um, I should probably give him something else. What do we have? I think we have the, mo uh, the item that increases Psychic type. What do you want to move it to? Uh, held item, move to the bag. There you go. I think we have the item that increases poison type moves. Let me see. Ba -da -da -da. We got King's Rock. We got Charcoal. We got Smoke. Oh, that's not it. We might not have it. That's fine. What else can we give it? We might as well give it something. Hmm. When the holder successfully inflicts damage, the target may also flinch. Hey okay, now. Does it have to be with physical type moves or just with any move? Be very nice to just have this on somebody. Give him a magnet. A magnet? Doesn't that increase steel type moves? I don't have a magnet. I don't know. I probably should have I, I probably could have picked that up somewhere. Hmm. Thanks for reminding me. Could have just held that stone. Also, Aaron Koalas, how you doing? I forgot. I, I I don't know if I said hello out loud or if I just said it in my mind. I'm sorry. 
Hope you're doing well. How have you been? You're currently on the road to Winden City. Oh my gosh. That Pokemon is magnificent. Or jealousant. It is definitely a jealousant. I remember. I'm gonna catch it. Big jellyfish. All right, all right, all right. Our humongous stock of quick balls not showing any sign of depleting anytime soon. It couldn't be that you couldn't. Uh, it used to be that you couldn't rename nickname Pokemon. Then it changed to you can't nickname any traded Pokemon. So they must have changed it back. I don't know. Hmm. My 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 memory, I, it fails me. But I'm glad that we can this time. As far as you know, it was just mentioned that her Flannery's grandfather used to be a member of the Hoenn Elite Four? Huh. I need to go back and play Omega Rufy Alpha Sapphire. Omega Rufy. Because that... I, wa I want to like appreciate these games more now that I have somewhat more of an attention span, except now less because I stream. Probably. Oh, okay. He's only Mr. Moore in the anime universe. All right, all right, okay. That's where the info came from. Hmm. Separate universes. Isn't the anime doing like a weird thing where instead of Ash directly going to the new region, he's like traveling from region to region everywhere he's been in the past and like having sort of Pokemon of the Week episodes in each region. I saw a gif of him like staring down Lugia. The world will turn to Ash again. He must have gone back to Johto. Even though he didn't encounter Lugia in Johto? In the anime? In the movie? Is it even the same Lugia, I wonder? Sometimes the Pokemon anime calls back to things that have happened before. And sometimes it doesn't. Like, does it... Like, I can ask all day, but we will never get an answer to whether or not it actually has continuity. And it's just weird like that. Agil Agility again? I just told you not to learn it, Raboot. Um, but, uh, yeah. I remember there was a recent, well, as recent as far as I'm concerned, episode of Pokemon. Sticky Slime. It's very susceptible to dehydration, so I can't spend too much time on land. Yeah, sure, let's rename it. Uh, there was an episode of Pokemon that called back to, to the Lieutenant Surge fight with the Raichu, and they just kind of did the plot all over again. Uh, basically, uh, Ash and Pikachu getting their butts handed to them by a Raichu, and then Ash having the moral dilemma of whether or not to evolve them. But I think they actually do call back to the original episode, because Ash mentions... I, I've heard, I think he... From what I've heard, Ash mentions that it is the same Thunderstone that he had in that original episode, and he kept it this whole time. Like, Ash, please, decide whether or not to evolve your Pikachu or not. Don't just keep it for, like, 20 years. <laughs> uh, ever since you saw that video of Guzzlord just straight up streaming, you have no idea what's going on in the new anime. You're still working through Sun and Moon. Well, I'm not going to spoil what happens at the end, even though I think everybody, like, knows now. I will never get over Guzzlord screaming. <laughs> I should voice a Pokemon. It's that easy. My Pokemon all pumped up from dancing with me. Are you ready for us? Yeah, sure. He did see Lugia in the movie. Now, does Lugio remember him? Lugio? Lugio! Dancer Zoe. Oh, I like her. She got Saya. She got Spunk. She got the Dark Maka. You bet this time Lieutenant Surge didn't call Pikachu a baby Pokemon now that Pichu is a thing. I, you know what? It would even it would be even more of an insult these days. What's she doing? She's got like I don't know, she she do be kinda of funky though. She's got this little like half capoeira thing going on. 
I need to learn those moves. I like it. Paito! All right, Dr. Maka is an ice type, so hammer arm. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. It's hilarious in anime, but if Guzzlord appeared and started screaming at you, you would be terrified. I would be too. Like, where did Pokemon go from like 1 to 11 in the last gen, and now it's kind of back to. Oh, yeah, like, like, consider in the last game, we were traveling to different dimensions with Pokemon that aren't even really Pokemon because you have to develop a special kind of Pokeball to have a better chance of catching them. And now you know this evil corporation and what what was even last gen? I want to know. Can't send out Rabbit right now. He's not strong enough. Uh, Blossom, just grass type. What did I have for grass types beside that? I think poison. Po yeah, poison is super effective on grass. Last gen was insane. I I really like the story of Sun and Moon. Like even though, even though a lot about the games were very much not streamlined. Why are my Pokemon getting sleepy? They're not too high level. Hmm. But uh, yeah, now we're just kind of back going back to, you know, we're we're kids. We're going on the gym challenge. Uh, Team Yell is kind of just there. They've done really nothing towards an overall plot, or hinted at any sort of overall plot. So either the game stays this small of a scale the whole time, or they're just gonna go ham by the end, because we are about to fight Gym Seven. Raichu has a higher speed stat. This is true. That's flavor text. It happens when your Pokemon have high friendship. Oh. I remember. I remember. Yeah, in like X and Y, they started doing the thing where like, oh, Pokemon look back at you. What is Boom Bust? Boom Burst. Boom Bust. Boom Bang. Thank you, ma'am. Get on the floor and jam. You see me on the microphone. 140! User attacks everything around it with the destructive power of a terrible explosive sound? And it's just straight up 140, accuracy 100? I'm kind of incredulous. I didn't know was a move existed that was this strong without any sort of downside. What's the catch? Hmm. Yeah. Because even with Acid doing 40 damage with Stab, that's only like 60. Just replace it with Boom Burst. Although we won't have any more Stab moves. But consider it like this. If we get Stab and Super Effective on a Pokemon, that's still only going to do 120 damage. This is just straight up 140. Hmm. It attacks everywhere, including allies. Oh, I think I'm fine with that. The nice thing about this game is at the very least, at the very least, uh, we can easily relearn moves. If I end up not liking it, we can we can switch it back out. Definitely not gonna bring Tingle to a raid battle. Dancer Zoe defeated. Now I can dance on out of here, little girl. Wow, you and your Pokemon make a combo that throws out moves like an elegant dance. You darn tootin'. We're gonna waltz. Waltz on right out of here. On our bike. I want to ride my bicycle. I want my Pokemon to learn some moves that are like dancing. You know what? There should be like a Capoeira Pokemon. You know, like Eddie Gordo. Hmm. You can also say it wants to go camping or it wants to be petted. Oh, jeez. What are you guys doing here? Marty's nowhere to be found. Uh, what are they preaching the, the 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 glory of their their lord and savior Marty to this turtle? We love that the move relearner is like every Pokemon Center and it's free. It's so convenient. Streamlined. If you got the ability Punk Rock, Boom Burst is increased even further because it's a sound type move, right? Yeah, that's what mine has. Oh, that is amazing. All right, screw Acid. Who 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 needs to do Acid anyway? There's no way we're letting you anywhere near Spike Myth. And that means we can't let you on, on Route 9. It's Team Zero's duty to cheer on those lovely Dreadnought. And why do we get to stop people from heading out over the water? Bye-bye. 
Bye bye. I don't know. You probably don't want to stop a doctor from going on to care for the sick. Yes, I understand. All I'm saying is I can make it so that Rodan bike can ride on water. I need that. I've been wanting that. Why, we meet again, my young gym challenger friend. Do, do, I, do I know you? Remember me? I gave you that bike. Oh, you're the guy I saved from Tim Yell at one time. So, do you think you can do me another favor and teach these ruffians a lesson or two? You know it. Although, you know, it's up to them to actually learn the lesson. It's our duty to protect Dreadnought. And that means you're gonna need to give up on our gym challenge. You look like you need some convincing, so how about a Pokemon battle? Yeah, sure. I'll send you packing for the sake of Dreadnought, of course. I realized I was giving Grunt A the, the girl voice, but then Grunt A was the one talking to me just now, and it looked like the guy. I don't know, I'm confused. They're experts at ventriloquism, don't you know? That's why they're Team Yell. They can throw their voices. Ooh, look at this arena. I like it. Fighting in the sand while it's hailing, snowing. Fighting in the, the frozen ice, rather. All right, so you should be a dark type, so hammer on, baby. You thought Throat Spray was a one-time item. Put on Throat Spray as a held item, it'll boost my special attack every time I use a sound-based move. I don't think I have a Throat Spray, but I'll keep an eye out for it. The nice thing about even with one-time item, one, one use items is that when you have them for the Battle Tower, I don't know how it works in this game, but it should be the same. When you put them on in the Battle Tower, it doesn't actually use consumable items, which is really nice. You can like keep them for each fight. I know there's a battle tower in this game because it was revealed that the Toby Fox musical battle theme is for that, and it sounds amazing. Maybe I read it wrong. It is not a one-time use item. Wow, infinite throat spray. I like that. Go on a hot date. Give me a brass butt sound out. Pangoro. Fighting dark. Fighting dark. Ah, uh, does fighting resist fighting? I don't think it does. So I could probably keep out with Sakura. Maybe we'll we'll destroy. All right, let's see who's the superior fighter. Ain't gonna do nothing. But lower my defense. That's fine. I still got plenty. Kaboom! <laughs> Squeeze! Squished flat. Just like an emote. Hammerlock. They have a BP shop. Right. That's true. I thought that was a little bit odd, because it doesn't seem like the battle tower is there. Unless the tower you fight right hand, or... I don't know. You weren't really allowed to go into that tower area, so either that's the battle tower and also where you fight Raihan, or you fight Raihan somewhere else. I'm not... I, I wasn't paying too much attention. Oh! I want to go back to Spike Myth! I really do! Team Yell is from Spike Myth? Hmm. Hmm. Makes sense. They're, they look very spiky. It's just a town of nothing but Sonic the Hedgehog fans. And they, they, they left to, you know, kind of avoid that, that, that fandom. You know, it can get kind of weird. Uh, you need to look up on YouTube because you're definitely not doing the Battle Tower. Oh, yeah. I, I, I'll fight it a few times, but Battle Tower is some serious stuff. It is, it is no joke. I remember the first time I tried Battle Tower back in... It, I could have played it in Crystal, but I never had Crystal. Uh, back in 3rd th Gen, I think? Yeah, way back when. I'm like, yeah, you know what? How hard could battles in-game be? And it turns out the opponents use teams with actual strategies. And, you know, you're forced to be the same level. So no grinding allowed. You're hoping, you're hoping in Pokemon Home works like Pokemon Bank and you get BP from that. You know what? I paid for Pokemon Bank a couple of times, but I never actually put Pokemon in there because I'm scared of how they threatened, not threatened, but like warned that it's possible that they'll delete your Pokemon after a certain amount of time. Uh, I'm going to have to start using that because I think that's the only way to get Pokemon into Pokemon Home, right? Go! Uh, go! She's going to ride the Dreadnought! Oi! I've got an idea! We can get on a Dreadnought first and ride it away! All right, get a move on, Dreadnought. See you later, Gym Challenger. Bye bye. Uh, okay. For once, I'm so glad they did not pay attention to their surroundings. 
All right, outbreak my bike, fam. Seems you've come to my aid yet again. How's the cycling life been treating you? Are you having fun? Great fun. I did the Rotom Rally. Wouldn't it be great if you could ride on your ride your Rotom bike on the water too? That's why I'm going to add these special parts, allowing you to travel along the water's surface, just for you. You got surf. I mean, a Rotom bike. Wait, I have a Rotom bike. This is a special one, though. Yeah, definitely not a surprise to me, considering the wild area. You just see people riding around on the water. Like, okay, when do I get that? Hmm. Apparently, to get the IV checker, you have to win some matches in Battle Tower? Huh. I remember in previous gens, they, they, they made it very convenient. They'd put the IV checker and, and all that in the battle tower, just so it's all in one place. Mm, but you have to win maybe how many? I wonder, maybe just a cup or just a couple of battles. It can't be too many. Like, for sure, I'm going to make some semi-competitive Pokemon just for fun. For the sake of it, you know. I always do that in every Pokemon game. All right, all right. With a po Rotom by water mode, you'll cruise across the water like a Pokemon would swift swim. By the by, when you're riding on land, we'll call it land mode. Gee, wow, thank you. What is that? What is that on the right there? That's new. Oh, I can get that. I see a path. Let's save first. It doesn't seem to be legendary, but... Uh, a bike. Excuse me? What kind of Pokemon are you? How do you do the things you do? Finally, we have an octopus Pokemon besides Octillery. Grapple lot. Fighting water? I like it. Look at him. He just wants to give you a big old hug. Look, when you got eight arms, you must give the best hugs. Oh, okay, bye. Reversal. I don't remember how that move works. Is it the one that does more damage the lower HP he has? Like, I get familiar with several... With the existence of several moves. I just don't know what they're called. Alright, what can I do? Comfy chair, let's go. I'm hoping I don't kill it with this grass move over here. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, ba -dum. All right, okay. Now, this, this octopus looks like it could be the mascot of some, some like, in-game Pokemon restaurant. Like, holding a plate of Takoyaki. Like, here, try it. It's good. You'd have to win six battles in a row for the battle tower. Oh, I forgot. Fighting type. Yeah, fighting type. Versus steel, not good. Seed bomb. Oh, you resisted it. All right, it is 8:47 p.m., so I'm assuming it counts as nighttime in the game. I have no idea what counts as night anymore. There was that whole confusion yesterday about whether or not using a dusk ball counted at night, even though the city was daytime. But I was in the middle of a raid battle, so does it does a den count as nighttime? Because it's a pretty dark area. And also, when you join a raid battle from the menu, do you count as transported to the wild area? So it's whatever time would be then? It's really unclear. I, I could not find anywhere on the internet that really had any sort of definitive answer. Well. I can't even tell if it's nighttime right now. Topsy turvy. Either way, a netball would be good on this guy. Uh oh, comfy chair's dying. Don't worry, we can revive him later. Aaron wasn't paying attention and got in the battle tower randomly. Nighttime starts at 8. This game has a weird day night cycle, though. Like, some parts, some areas of the overworld are always daytime. Like, yesterday, um, the area to the right of Modestoke was daytime, even though it was night. I always play at night, so I, I expect it to be nighttime all the time. If it is just 8 o'clock, then I was right. 
Yesterday, somebody gave me some sass about like, hey, look at the sky. It's not nighttime. Clearly, your dust ball's not gonna work. Look, I, all I know is in the past, it was just check that was APM. I don't know. Let's try a net ball. We got some. Some areas of the overworld are time locked until you beat the game. Yeah, that's the weird thing. I, so I don't know. I don't know if those like specifically defy the dusk ball. But again, the thing that was weird was I was in a raid battle. So I don't know if the game counted me as in the city I was in or in the wild area or if dens are always dark. I think people need to do more research on that or data mine it. I'm surprised it's not data mined yet. Lock. Searching for an opponent to test its skills against, it emerges onto land. It is just fighting? No wonder Grass wasn't good on it. Once the, lot the, once the battle is over, it returns to the sea. Wow. He just waits along, waiting for a worthy opponent. Actually, I just realized you look like you're wearing a little lucha mask. I am appreciating the amount of, of lucha-based Pokemon now. I mean, you got How Lucha, and then you have Pikachu Libre. Um, uh, uh, Incineroar is kind of Lucha, but he's just a wrestler. All right, what should we name him? Oct Octopus, Doc Doctor Octagonopus. Rawr! Hey, hope that fits. You caught it in a net ball. I'm actually surprised now that I know it's not a water type. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> uh, funny, huh? You're surprised. Eh, it's got the same amount of probability as a regular Pokeball, I guess. Dr. Octagon. Sure, that fits. Pyrone, Pyrone, what is up? How you doing, sir? Welcome, welcome. We are continuing our Pokemon Shield journey. We are not quite done with the game story yet. We're working on it. We're working on it. Uh, I know it's basically been too Wilmer. Actually, he couldn't hurt a fly. Probably. Ice Stone. Uh, I know it's been two weeks since the game came out, so basically people have been... People have finished the game. People have finished their Pokedexes already. Oh, we'll go at our own pace. Like, this is faster than I usually play games to begin with. What was that? Something jumped in the water. You ever notice how the two holes on his head kind of look like eyes? It's like he's got two faces. Let's do Toxic and then hope that we can catch it in a Dusk Ball. Unhollow Day, what's up? How you doing? Welcome as well. Hope you're doing well. I brought my hacked net ball. <sighs> Alright, the truth is out. I actually am a Switch hacker. That's the reason why the net ball worked when I, when I, when I caught that Butterfree yesterday. Netballs are just master balls in this game. I'm a fraud. I'm a fraud. A fraudster. Oh, murder. Peck neck. All right. That's enough being Scottish. Why don't I just give the conductor voice to Monica? How about that? Monica, my character over there. She's looking cute. Last fashion area gave us some good. Okay, where am I? What am I looking for? Dust ball, please. Dust ball. There you go. Blast City gave us some good clothes. Look at us, we look kind of grungy. Very 90s, I love it. Hope we're still enjoying it. Oh, absolutely. Nice dabs. Egg, Brad, what's up? How you doing? Oh, don't give me that pouty face. You're beautiful any way you slice it. You're breathtaking. Am I suggesting spider whale? I could have used a netball on him. He's bug and water. I wonder if netball has like quadruple effectiveness on bug water. When it sucks in a large volume of seawater, it becomes like a big bouncy ball. It eats a ton of food daily. I'm just reminded of that video of the pufferfish eating a carrot. I will spare you guys the sight of it, but if you know what I'm talking about, it is kind of gross. Like it makes human sounds like, oh, oh, oh. Like, no. <laughs> uh, nice squish. You are squished. Anna's got a new emote. Oh, I saw that your tier three got approved. Oh, oh, Mantike. 
I want it. Look at the Stingray boy. I, 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 I do this thing where I get distracted by a new Pokemon every time I see a new route. Uh, now that we have Quick Balls, I feel a lot better. Well, now that we have Quick Balls and also Tingle, I feel a lot better, better about catching wild Pokemon on stream. But you know what? Either I get it on the first turn or I poison it and it's probably like the third turn. Not too bad, not too bad. Wow, even Quick Balls aren't working that well. Squish! And his emote looking cute. It's a it's a little oh whoa bat. It's a doable. As you know, we like bats here on the stream. We got one that apparently can battle. Gutsy bat. He's got Draco Meteor. I can't wait till he evolves. You gotta be a cool boy. Alright, uh, let's do Toxic. Ba -ba -ba -da. It makes human sounds like Guzzlord. Guzzlord is the screamer now. <laughs> Brad took a nap. Woo! Hi is anime. We are fanime. Let's go to fanime. I didn't know we had professional anime in our midst. Wow. Hi, you gotta you gotta show me sometime. Good anime. Has anybody been watching any good anime recently? I've been looking for recommendations because I am trying to start up anime nights on my stream. I just don't know what to watch. I don't know what people would watch is more the thing. Because if I got ideas, I got ideas. Like, you leave it up to me, we'll watch Gundam, we'll watch My Hero Academia, we'll watch Foodie Coolie, I don't know. Let's go with the classics. Brad is Brad, Proto Man, Metal Gear. Sir Egg, hope I'm having a good night. I am, I am. Uh, we're playing more Pokemon, which is always a good time. You know, taking it easy, taking it cool. I originally planned to kind of rush through the game this week, uh, finish both seven and eight gyms tonight. But you know what? I think I'll take a step back. I don't want to rush it. I don't want to, like, deprive myself of a good experience. So we'll just do the seventh gym today and, uh, probably finish the game next week. That's fine. I, I need to start new games sooner than later anyway. So we'll, we'll, we'll take it light, uh, depending on how long it takes to do kind of the last few streams of this game, you know? 611, this is a big boy. Raise your hand if you're shorter than Mantine. Okay, that is not the that is not the height of it, that is the length of it, that's gonna be. Unless it's like giant. 485 pounds. Well, raise your hand if you weigh more than Mantine, and I hope nobody does. As it majestically swims, it doesn't care if Remoraid attached to it to scavenge for leftovers. Yeah. Nice to see all you lovelies. Brad is a Pokemon? Oh, heck yeah. Can we catch it? I was kind of saying yesterday. Oh, you weren't here yesterday, Brad. Um, you look... Proto Man looks like a Ponyard. Okay, a Stingray. Ray, 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 man. Well, you're a girl, so Ray, woman. I want to play a Rayman game now. Those are fantastic, especially Origins and Legends. Yeah. And I just watched this feels the anime that we wouldn't want to probably watch. Hey, I'm done with the sickness. You want to get down with the sickness? I can feel sometimes too. I think these are Remo raids. Oh, I'll get you. Oh, this is actually kind of fun. What? Get that one just dove into the ice. I hope it's okay. Just flopping around. Yeah, a couple of months ago, actually, that reminds me. Uh, down near kind of Long Beach area, there's a certain type of fish in the ocean called a grunion. And during the summer months, they like to spawn, you know, like salmon. But kind of stupidly in that they don't go up a river. They, they come up to the beach and dig into the sand and then try to lay their eggs in there. It's so weird. 
And it's so easy, because if you want to go fishing, all you got to do is walk down to the beach while they're spawning and grab them off of the sand. Like, what kind of evolution... What kind of evolution has resulted in a fish that has a better time surviving by going up to land? I guess that's... I guess that's how lizards happen, huh? Alternate title for the stream. Guzzlord streams for 3 minutes and 20 seconds. I like it. New games? What are those? I don't know. I think this is a new game. It was a new game. It's like two weeks old now, and that's forever in internet time. Uh, There's the Guzzlord video. I have a Guzzlord video. I'm not sure which one I have open. New games like Half-Life 1. Ooh, just released last week. Stop! Hello? Lead the way. Gordon? Using its dorsal fin as a suction pad, it clings to a mantine's underside to scavenge for leftovers. New game theory. Is Professor Oak a scientist from Black Mesa Corporation? You were close to causing a resonance cascade. Wonderful. The aliens are invading. Alright, the thing about Remo Raid is he's actually supposed to look like a gun. If you look really close, he kind of does look like a revolver. Revolver! Oshawott. Yeah, he's got like the little marking, like a barrel, like uh, the, 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 the chambers of a revolver. Yeah. You don't think Anna knows the meaning of the word new game. You always see Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts is new. Kingdom Hearts 3 came out this year. Technically. Hey, you know what? Resident Evil 2 also came out this year. It feels like it came out forever ago. That game's like $15 now. If you haven't played it, go buy it. There's rumors that Resident Evil 3 is going to come out. Um, they're remaking that. Stanley! Okay, nobody's going to get that reference. Uh, my friend and mod, Mr. Buckle. Aw, Tinkle wants to be petted. That's going to be hard without stabbing my hand. Right. Overdrive! Uh, there's rumors that they're remaking Resident Evil 3 in the Resident Evil 2 engine, and I can't wait because Brad streamed that not too long ago, the original one, and I want to play the remake, compare it. Uh, but also, friend and mod of the stream, Mr. Buckle, has been doing a Pokemon Nuzlocke run of Pokemon Fire Red Leaf Green. Uh, he got a Wingle headbutt. 70? Not bad. He plays Tackle. And he named a seagull Stanley, uh, by my request, because that is traditionally our seagull name. And then, because it was a randomized Nuzlocke run, it evolved into a quillfish. Sure? <laughs> Remoroid? There might be a cream for that. Oh, please don't. We like our Pokemon here. Woo! Ah, da, 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 da. How am I missing them? How am I missing the Remoroid when I'm trying to catch them? I don't know. I'm just so good at juking, apparently. Dr. Evil's secret plan! One million dollars! Pukamuku! That is surprising. I didn't think it would be in this region. It's, it's very Hawaiian. Look at the little boy! I like Pukamuku. I need to find a Pukamuku plush somewhere. Based on a sea cucumber. Kingdom Hearts is light! Yeah, and it's also new. It's shiny and new! Innards out! Oh, Ew! What? It, it killed me. Did anybody see what happened? I was looking at chat. Innards out. What is that? Some sort of counter? Oh no. Oh no. Some Pokemon choices surprise you, especially since they cut like so many. I mean, I like Pukumuku. One of my favorites from last gen. I'm happy that they're here. I thought... Mm. You know, when I saw Snom for the first time, that, that caterpillar we got uh, we got yesterday, I thought that was like a Galarian Pukimuku. Puk Pukimuku. That's how they say it in Galar. Day's gonna go get breakfast. Might catch you when I get back. All right, Day. Hope it's good. Hope it's delicious. Hope it's not too heavy. Have a good day. Have a good day, Day. <laughs> I'll see you later. Uh, losing with a spiky Pokemon makes my heart feel prickly. Oh. That's so sad. Eating contest. 
You gonna eat breakfast too, Brad? I mean, it's nighttime where we are, but, you know, I eat breakfast for every meal of the day. Alright, let's heal up. Uh, revives on Tingale, Kululimpa, and Comfy Chair. The last Pokemon plus you bought was a Pumpkaboo. Oh, that sounds amazing. Was it a... I recently found out about the whole thing that Pumpkaboos can become... Can, can come in different sizes. Is it an XL Pumpkaboo plush? It's very thematic. Uh, we are in the fall season. Like, even though Halloween's over, pumpkins are a sign of fall. Regardless of what kind of holidays you celebrate. Gotta use these potions up. When is Anna getting kid cats? The piano box is empty. Oh, did the postman eat them again? Look, I, I swear I'm sending them over. I, I don't know. I'm sending them uh, no class, unfortunately. What is that? Oh, I know what that is. Spike Myth. It's a big old barnacle crab. Walking around in two legs. I appreciate that he put on underwear today. He's got big old rock undies. He's got rock boxers. Rocksters. Wait, that was Rocksters? Thank Twig, he's got the smallest size of- Ooh, critical catch. Smallest size of Pumpkaboo, which is fine with you. Oh, that's fine with me too. He sounds adorable. We need more... Well, actually, that might lead to some weird things. We need more life-size Pokemon plushes, I was going to say. Uh, there was a Pokemon plush. Hold on, let me, let me try to look up what that Pokemon is. Life-size Pokemon plush. Uh, there's a life-size Furret. Which is amazing. It's a big old long ferret Pokemon, and you can hug it and squeeze it and call it George. And that I have no problem with. With, with. but Zara Aura, that's the one. Uh, there's a life-size plush of uh, this Pokemon that I know it exists because. Here, here's a picture. It's bigger than a child. During Anime Expo, uh, last year, well, this year, uh, a friend of, uh, me and my, my roommate, uh, was staying over and had ordered it to here in order to deliver it back to NorCal. So it was just kind of sitting in our apartment for a couple of days, you know, just being there and being all huge. Like, okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna judge. I'm not gonna judge anybody. I mean, I mean, really. Aaron Koala's gambling 200 eggs and winning. Congratulations. Wonderful. You want a life size Waylord? I want a life size Waylord. That'd be bigger than your house. Where would you put that? <laughs> you know, if it's. I want it to be accurate to actual Waylord. Barbacle. Bar, 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 barbacle. Barbarian. His, his head is a hand. That is gross. Having an eye on each palm allows it to keep watch in all directions. In a pinch, its limbs start to act on their own to ensure the enemy's defeat. It does have eyes on its hand. What, what, what was the name of the thing from Pan's Labyrinth? You guys ever watched that movie? The one that, like, put its eyes on its hands and saw by, like, giving you high fives? Okay, that's not how it sees, but it looks like it wants... It always looks like it wants one. Also, a life-size whaler would cost like a million dollars. I feel like it wouldn't cost more than a parade float. It would basically be a parade float. Egg. Egg. Pan's Labyrinth Monster is named Egg. I don't think it's called Egg. It's not called Nuiki either. Oh, hi, Nuiki. I thought you wanted me to name it Nuiki. How you doing? Uh, I saw on Brad's stream that he named your... He named his Toxtricity or Toxel after Nuiki. And it keeps confusing me, because I think every time he talks about it, he's talking about you. Uh... But, yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pans... Pansla... Brinth. It barely fits. Pansla Brinth. I feel like that could... that... Okay, it's immediately respond. 
It wouldn't cost more than a parade float. Like, you know, they got... Oh, you're the pre-evolution of that, that, that big old fighting octopus. Okay, that's adorable. It's hailing. Uh, definitely, if you look at Waylord's Pokédex entry, it has like an impossibly low weight. Like such that if it existed in real life at the size that it was, it would be lighter than air. But that's on purpose, because the whole point is that it's supposed to be a big old blimp. So it floats in the air. So I don't think you'd have problems with storing it as much as making sure it doesn't fly away. Like the, the big old Barney parade float from Thanksgiving. Hey, does anybody here watch the Macy's Day Thanksgiving parade every year? Thanksgiving is coming up this week. Clobopus, I love them. I'm gonna clobble that damn Kirby! Two feet tall, 8.8 .8 pounds. Its tentacles tear off easily, but it isn't alarmed when that happens. It grows, it knows they'll grow back. It's as smart as a three-year-old. Yeah, I know a lot of three-year-olds that think their limbs grow back. Takoya. Punch. What am I doing? There's a, there's a better there's a better pun here. Takoya kick. But he doesn't kick, he punches. That's the pun. It would have been Takoya kick, but it's actually Takoya punch. <laughs> Fantricity. Boom burst added with wise glasses. Oh, I think I have a wise glasses. You could probably give that to our toxicity. I don't know. We're, we, were, we were thinking earlier of what kind of item to give him. We have wide lens, actually. Never mind. Oh, we do. Uh, boosts special moves. Oh, yeah, definitely. Tingle's a special attacker. That is a great option. Thanks for reminding me. Heck yeah, now we're in the money. And we got the Evil Light. We can probably give that to Gutsy Bat while he's still not evolved. I feel like he's going to evolve soon, though. Like, he's level 46. I would have thought... Like, when does this thing evolve? I never thought a one-stage Pokemon would take that long. Ectolery. Sure. Bum, bum, ba -dum. Flower puts a cutie. With the cost of all the quality fabric for that blimp, the sheer amount of stuffing you would need, also labor cost, would be very costly. I, I would think a, a life-size waylord would probably be a blimp and not a plush, probably. Uh, Aaron Koala says your amp form is named Drew Tricity, but you might name your low-key form Brad Tricity, Drew and Brian, and then the Toxel is named Wiki. There you go. We're creating a community of Pokemon evolutions. And you know what? Let's start a question of the day. If you were a Pokemon, either what type would you be, or what Pokemon would you be? How about that? Don't mind Nuiki, you're still abusing Home Claws and Power Trip with Corviknight. A lot of people are doing that. Is that like the strat? Tentacle. I uh, see uh, Anna's seeing me catch all these octopi. <laughs> uh, this is Anna's stream right here. We were talking about life-size Pokemon plushes. All right, would you like to have a Lysol's artillery plush? And what would you do with it, I wonder? Eat some takoyaki tonight, boys. Nice. You know, for the longest time, even until, like, last gen, I thought that artillery didn't evolve to or from anything. And it wasn't until that time that I learned that it evolved from Remo Raid. I would have never guessed. I would have never seen the connection. It just turns from a gunfish into a, a, a cannon octopus. I guess the connection is weaponry? Really? Like, would anyone... Did anyone know that? Did anyone know that before, like, looking it up? Like, even if just playing during Gen 2, did anyone just know that? Jet Pokemon 211. It's actually not that tall. It traps enemies with its suction cup tentacles, then smashes them with its rock-hard head. You don't really like artillery, so no, you didn't. Anna's an innocent angel. I know now, without a doubt, that Anna is light! It might eat you. Not if I eat it first. Aaron wants a Waylord bed. Now that's sleeping in style. Yeah, we're slain exactly, sleeping. 
Also, welcome to the stream. How are you? We're naming our artillery. Ah, oh, you can be tank, treads, octopus. We already used taco ya kick. Taco ya shoot, 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 topos. You gotta mow you down. All right, let's get out of this patch of grass before I get lost forever. I don't see any new Pokemon. However, I think I hear one. Look at this buff, man. Painter tips. There are times when you throw a Pokeball to catch a Pokemon and it shakes just once. The more Pokemon you catch, the more likely this curious phenomenon is to occur. Since it's more likely you'll be able to catch your target, it's called a critical catch. I didn't know it could fail. Yeah, gun girl. Whoa. You know what? I don't doubt that there's probably an enemy out there. Okay. Hold on, hold on. I don't doubt that there is an anime about out there about girls who are like living guns. Like tell me if that's a thing. Tell me when it was made. It was probably made like ten years ago. Nuiki never put it together that artillery came from Memoraid. Right? Swimmer Jacob. This guy looks like a total stoner. Just saying. Boy, am I glad that he's frozen in there and we're out here and I just remembered we're out here and he's the sheriff. Mobile delay. No, I'm just taking a long time to get to chat today. I, I, I decided that I don't want to be like totally up to the minute. That's okay with everybody. I'm a little bit tired. A life-size Snorlax would be cool to take a nap on, but you'd have nowhere to put it. I think that already exists. I think that literally exists as a Snorlax bed. Overdrive! Girls Frontline. Isn't that their, like, living battleships? How's the swimmer man not cold as all heck? What a chad. Oh, you know. Mm, he just freezes through the pain. He's actually frozen solid. That's not muscle, that is ice. He just chiseled it. Talk about chiseled abs. Defeated Swimmer Jacob. To deal with the shock of losing, I'm gonna swim far, far away. When you're cold, just think of this guy in the hall. In the hail. Alright, uh, let's actually swap the luck incense onto Tingle. Just for the sake of... Um, getting more money from these battles because I don't think I need the extra power right now. There you go. Uh, wise glasses can go on. Well, definitely doesn't belong on Sakura. Let's put him on Raboot, even though you're also a physical attacker. Nah, Sakura, we'll just keep it there for now. So we don't forget about it. Don't you forget about me. He's a uh, endurance training. Look at that octopus. Just scuttling along. All right, let's avoid it. Ooh. Surchester Bay. What a useless sign. Who's gonna be here? Protector. It's extremely stiff and heavy. It's loved by a certain Pokemon. I think this is the item that evolves Rhydon into Rhyperior. Looks like it. Oof. He's got sunlight yellow. Overdrive! I'm just, every time I see the word overdrive, I think of the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure fighting game uh, on the Dreamcast that has young Joseph Joestar in it. And he just goes, Overdrive! Clackavore! Pretty good. See, look at me, I'm now doing the random JoJo references. But at least it's, you know, kind of relevant to what I'm talking about. We should play that game, Brad. It's pretty fun. It's made by Capcom. How the heck did he swim there? That's a good question, actually. Wiki berries. You know, probably he was born there and he lived his whole life on the island. Erg. That's the only thing I can expect. Hmm, yes. Girls Frontline is that gotcha waifu collector. The characters are based on real firearms. Uh oh. That is the one that Ron Vols right on. Okay. <clears throat> Well, when I get one, oh, I'm so behind. 
All right, okay. When I when 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 I get a ride on, we'll see about trading him. We need a regional Snorlax. I I would imagine. What if there was a Kanto? What if they go back and then make a Cantonian Snorlax? And it turns out the regular Snorlax was actually foreign imported. It's just like a sumo wrestler. How about that? It has a little diaper. Okay, maybe not. Egg. Uh, Thank Tweak has JoJo on PS4. That's the... That's like the story-based one, right? I have that. It's a decent game. It's not like the best game, but it's decent. Egg. Erg. This girl. Also, how are you not cold? I'm all rested up, so how about you be my opponent? You're the Snorlax. No, me. Uh-oh. Ma'am, this is not a way to look at a little girl. I need an adult. Kissing the Pokeball for good luck. The steel nerves to survive this cold. Brad is in awe. Brad, did you find your new Pokemon waifu? I I I won't I won't I won't, I won't tell. No no no. Aaron wants a regional Snorlax that's skinny. Oh, what if he was like buff? A ripped Snorlax. No, not ripped, just skinny. What if you like you got Galarian or whatever Galarian Munchlax, which is all skinny, and then Galarian Snorlax is all buff? How about that? I don't know. I don't want to give people any fan art ideas, actually. Artillery, let's go. Thin and tall, like Elolian Executor. That is a design that the Pokemon Company has definitely been <laughs> kind of like making out of everything these days. You got the Gigantamax Meowth that becomes Longcat. You got the Surfetch with the longest leak on planet Earth. On top of a Alolan Executor. They they just... Uh, and, and, and Galarian Ka uh, Weezing's huge hats. They just like... They just like tall. Long! Flex Lax. Snorflex! That's a good one. That's one. That, 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 that'll be its name. You love Alolan Executor so much. It's definitely one of my favorites. Have you ever heard of the chatting client line? The one that's all the rage in like Asian countries? I use it with like some of my friends, but not all of them. Because some other of my friends can't stand it for, you know, understandable reasons. I'm a mermaid. I want to return to the ocean. Yeah, sure. Why don't you take a dive? See how that works out for you. I'm sure you won't succumb to the cold and frozen wilderness. I was looking for berries to let my Pokemon hold. Sorry, I took them all. Let's heal up. Uh, yeah. If you are, if you know Line, uh, they have lots of stickers. Uh, basically animated like emotes. And they partner with the Pokemon Company a lot to make like Pokemon ones. We have any ethers? I'm surprised I haven't really picked one up. We got one, just one. Uh, I'll save it. I'll save it. That's what I say to like everything. Uh, Anna's gotta go to sleep. Have a good rest of the stream. That's okay, Anna. I appreciate you being here tonight. Thank you for hanging out. It's always nice having you. Have a good night. Sleep well. Stay clucky, okay? I'll see you around. Good night. What are these? Oh no, it's one of the, um... Yeah, that's the pre-evolution of that big old crag. The aggro crag! Oh, I know what I'm naming this one. That we saw in the ice gym. Sweet dreams and pleasant memes. Fighting Snorflex. Dynamax Thinlax. Dietlax. More like Xlax. Ha! <laughs> Lepa berries also restore PP. Ooh, I should get me I should be getting more berries. I'm like kind of shaking them sometimes. The trees. Man, the, 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 the Galar genetic engineering has gone too far. They keep growing multiple types of berries on one tree. That's like a freaking nature. Actually, that's like in real life, right? If you there are certain types of fruit trees that you can graft branches onto other trees and make like an apple tree that grows oranges and it just works. 
it's it's really weird. I'm not, I'm sure not like that, not that exact example, but there are some totally different fruits you could grow on totally different trees. This Pokemon lives in areas of frigid cold. It secures itself to the back of an Avalog by freezing its feet in place. Bergmite. It's adorable. It's like a termite. Uh, I'm assuming it evolves into Av Avalug. The Aggro Crag. You guys remember Nickelodeon? What 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 show was that? Not Nickelodeon Double Dare. Physical Challenge. Nickelodeon Guts. That's the one. Thank you, Brad. Da da. Banana banana. Banana Guts. Hold on. Let's see if there's something over here. I'm exploring. I'm going for it. Hello. Rock slide. That is a good move to have. Now I can finally probably teach that to something else besides Sakura. I need more Pokemon with rock moves. Right, let's see. Nobody can learn it. Good, okay. Icy Wind. Hey, we can probably put an ice move on Spizalotl. That would be useful. We don't have that many ice TMs. I don't think we have any ice TMs besides that one. Those two. Ah, oh, okay, okay. I will use Icy Wind. What? Let me... Mm, let's see. I hope you're a special attacker. Let's see. Special attack, yes. Okay, what can I get rid of? Probably Water Pulse. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Here we go. Type coverage, baby! Do we get any Lepa Berries? If we have any, I might have used them all to make curry. We got four. Put that in overdrive, and we are back up to speed. Heck yeah, heck yeah. I keep trying to press A. What? I keep trying to press A at the edge of any water body. Because like I, I'm expecting I to need a Pokemon to be like, Oh, you can use Surf here. Would you like to? Oh, they're coming at me. Where am I even? Hello? You're not trainers. You're just hanging out? Are, are you stranded? Do you need some help, sir? Ma'am? You see people use Lepa Berries for curry all the time and you're like, oh, oh. I wish they would remind you what the berries do in the curry menu in case you would probably use them for battle instead. Whoops. Gems Gemini. Hello. Oh, you're feeling down today? Well, that's not good. I hope the stream helps you relax. Hope it makes you feel better. Whatever happened today, I know it'll get better. At least I hope. Welcome, welcome. It certainly is a beach, but it's just too cold. What do you think about my secret beach? It's a small mysterious paradise located on the very cool ocean. You come all the way here, so I'll give you a present. Wow. 45 dive. That rhymes. Move dive. Your Pokemon won't be hit by attacks while it's diving in the water. That's right. It may be similar to my beach, which is so cold that no one visits. Dude, I don't remember that episode of Rocket Power. Hey, new Shoobies, though. Whoa. Do, 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 do. All right, we're making our way downtown. Going back. Ooh. Juke ya. Octo, bye-bye. Oh, you're not in a good mood. Hope you're able to kick back and meme it up for a bit. Memes. The curry for the soul, I want to say. Forget about chicken soup for the... What is that? Goblins, uh... No, that's just another... Bergmite. Eh... Uh, what was I saying? Yes, forget chicken soup for the soul. We got... Curry for the soul. Much better. We got... There's like... Something up there. There's a Pokemon in that grass. I don't think it's something I've seen before. <laughs> Oh, it's a Mary Ann. Mary Ann. It's a, it's a Mary Ann. It's a Mary Calendars. Pot Pie. Big ball. Let's go. 
This is my strategy. It actually hasn't worked out for the past few catches. I think the last thing we caught was a critical catch, actually. Easy. Oh, I see. Gem's having a bad time in Smash Quick Play. Smash, I, I was trying to play a little bit of Smash earlier. Um, unfortunately, the tournament mode doesn't have 1v1s right now. So, mm, so I had to play, I had to play quick play and I was not having a good time. I think, I, I think on a weekday is when the tryhards are out in full force because all the kids are out at school. It's a problem. Don't feel too bad about it. We can, we can, we can join in solidarity because I was, I was, I was not having a good time. I lost way more than I won. D dive is like dig, but with water. You ever just try to dig through the water? I saw this adorable gif. Hold on. Unlike their alone in counterparts, the Mary Annie of the Galar Legion have not figured out how the branches of Korsula are delicious. Well, that's good, but the Korsula are all dead, so I don't know if it makes a difference. They're ghosts. But Mary, 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 pa, pa, da, ba, da, ba, da, 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 da. Pot pie. Delicious. But you can get hit by Surf and Whirlpool when you are in Dive. That is true. I remember that. Got some high level Pokemon play here. Gem Gemini having so much fun and then me Gunner. I was having fun shaking this tree and then a Greedent. No. Oh. Hey, don't feel bad. At some point soon, we're gonna have a spar on Brad's stream. Not on my stream. Not not anytime right now. I don't I don't think I have the like mental capacity for a smash stream anytime soon. Wow, you just ate all the berries. How greedy. How rude. Gone on over here. A nice friendly sparring match. No tryharding, just having fun. Wouldn't that be nice? What is that? What is that poster on the right? I can't really make it out. I can't this spike myth, so I've just been hanging around here this whole time. Now I can challenge the dog type leader like this. What's with the gate being shut? How am I supposed to get the gym badge now? Dude, this is actually preventing us from doing the challenges. Also, where were you? T where were these people when I was doing the gym challenge in the other cities? Wouldn't I have met up with them? Marty! Marty, a cute. Whoa! Hey, Minoka! Just relax in a nice Pokemon stream. Even a rundown place like this is important for the people and the Pokemon who live there! Dude, this is giving me mad vibes of that one town in Gen 7 that was taken over by Team Skull. I wonder if this team, this, this town is taken over by Team Yell. Look, Marnie, where did Marnie go? I saw you over here, but let's go check out this tunnel first. I want to see what this is. You were having fun playing against a Terry Hero Wolf player, but then you had to deal with a try-hard competitive Me Gunner. Dude, that can be annoying sometimes. Certain characters, certain characters just trap you and don't let you play and... Like, sure, that's how the character works, but, you know, you know, lay up a little bit sometimes. That's the one, that's the problem with quick play. It's that everyone is, everyone fights as if they have something in this, at stake because of their GSP score. Like, where's the place where I can find people who are decent but just want to play for fun? I guess that's the tournaments. Can we please have tournaments 1v1 all the time, Nintendo? Why does Spike Myth have it shut it down? Are they having a party in there? And I wasn't invited. Brrr. Gym leader of Spike Myth Piers specializes in dark type Pokemon. He's a decent bloke, though. Oh, there you go. I guess um, Sakura's gonna get some more work done. We don't have any more fighting types besides that. But, actually... We could bring back Hatchreen. We could bring back Hatchreen. Hatchreen is a fairy type. Although you are also a psychic. He is, she is also a psychic type. That would be a bad idea. 
Look at that. 5-11 versus 6-0. I like it. With the shutter down, nobody's be able, going to be able to attempt the gym challenge. <laughs> Isn't it so funny? And look at yeah, it's just the, it's just the road all the way back. All right, oh, <laughs> run from the cat. I love that the, the Pokemon is trying to attack you. Like, oh, can't catch me. It'll get better gems, I promise. Let's talk about Pokemon. Pokemon is fun. Pokemon is nice and casual. Uh, more clobber pusses. What is this, though? There's something in the grass. More Galarian Berserker. I'm happy that they didn't call this a Persian because it looks nothing like one. Just funny. Ba -ba -ba -ba. He specializes in dark type Pokemon, but he's a decent bloke. They're implying that most dark type Pokemon trainers are bad people? Hey, now that's stereotyping. I have said before that I would be a dark type trainer if I was like a, a specialized type trainer. So that, what does that say about me? Marnie looks like she knows this town. Hmm, I wonder what that means. She knows the back entrances. I was born here, so I know another way in. If you want to get into town, how about I show you the way? What? You're my rival, so you'll have to beat me in a battle first, got it? Let me think about it. Oh, did I misjudge you? Oh, I get it. You need to get ready. Go on then. I'll wait here until you're ready. Thank you for understanding, Marnie. Now this octopus was just looking at me funny. I just need to swap the items around. Wise glasses on Sakura definitely does not make sense. Uh, -ba -ba. uh I think this party's good enough. Let's save first. Thank Twig wants to make a ghost team this gen because it's your favorite type. Heck yeah! You can be uh, Alistair's big brother or something. Umbreon did nothing wrong. Umbreon is my favorite Pokemon. I will tell you guys. I will admit that wholeheartedly. I think I have... Well, first of all, there's an Umbreon plush like right behind me right now. But I also have like a giant... A giant soft plushie that I got from Japan. From a Pokemon Center. I It was basically one of my entire carry-on luggages. <laughs> because it was too big to fit anywhere else. And let's, let's have a fight, Marnie! Is your full name Marnold? Just wondering. Oh. Oh, where did you guys come from? Oh, Team Yell. Well, she encourages them, so I, I, I guess they can't be that bad. Maybe they've been cheering her on since birth. And, like, she's just used to it. What, you mean other people don't have entourages? Oh, huh. I thought this was normal. You've had a pretty good win streak in the gym challenge, just like me. I respect you as my rival and all that, but I've got too much at stake to go around losing now. Hmm. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba. Going out with the Leopard. I powered up a whole lot. I gotta beat you a lot into the ground, got it? Wow. Even when she's threatening us, she's just so adorable. I've been talking about the the the, the trainers and characters I want to draw. Um, uh, let's see if it's still over here. I, I showed it off at the end of the last stream, but for everybody who wasn't here for that, um, I started a sketch of Nessa. Just, ju just because I couldn't really think of who else to draw, and you know she's the one that everyone wants as their waifu. I like her design at the very least. She's got cool hair. Okay, I, I really like Nessa, but I really like a lot of the trainers in this gen. The designs. I, I was saying on I was saying on a previous stream that the trainer designs in this gen are top notch. They or dare I say they're aces. Ba 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 da ba ba. Ba ba. Okay, let's go. Uh, nothing to do on the dark type. Let's go with. Sakura! There, there. 
Thanks for the love's Ness's hair. The light's blue looks so good. I can't wait until I color that. I think I'm also going to draw um, myself. I'm going to draw Monica because I think I've gone totally cute. Maybe like with the jacket on the on the ripped shirt. Hammer arm. Sucker punch. That's not going to do much. Uh, also Marnie. Also just everyone. Maybe draw a hop getting bopped on the head. We fought him at the beginning of the stream. Uh, again, not that hard. And definitely if I had been keeping a consistent team the entire game, then he would have been way more of a pushover. I, I think I understand. I think I understand what Game Freak tried to do here. Don't swagger me, you're raising my attack and that's a bad idea for you. Just as long as I don't punch myself. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Can you imagine what that would look like if actual attacks got a. Uh... Oh, oh, you're just poison. Got a confused animation. The arm comes out of the ground and then just like whomps me in the face. <laughs> Oof! Ba da 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 well, uh, I have a thing or two uh, called a berry that can recover from confusion. I only get one per sim, though. I remember in third gen, I absolutely loved those flute items that heal confusion for free. Oh, no! Poison? That's not good! That's not good at all! How long do you think it takes? Oh no! How long it takes for me to die? Apparently just like that many hits. How long do you think it takes for Nessa to get ready in the morning? Huh? You'd have to wonder. Alright, let's do comfy chair because we won't be affected by poison and we won't be damaged all that much by poison attacks. We should be good. As long as you don't have like a fighting move. Iron Head! Don't worry, gems. We'll find a place where you can smash and have fun. Just with friends, you know? Don't always have to have fights against tryhards. You know, just take it one day at a time. I'm sure I'm I'm sure it'll get better. Scrafty. You are just dark, right? I think so. Even after evolving, he doesn't fit into his pants. Maybe his mom should have bought him uh, smaller slacks. Toxicroak is poison fighting, but it worked out. Dark fighting. Fighting gold. Well, dang. Oh, no. Oh, no. We not we might not survive another turn. Would, do I really dare switch in? I think if we do gutsy bat. Let, let's 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 see if he has his time in the spotlight. He's probably gonna use a fighting move, which means it won't do very much. Especially with the EV light on him, he should be able to withstand the attack. Scary face. Speed Lord. Ooh, oh no. That's not good. Oh, that's very bad. I'm scared of what he might not and what he might do now. Air slash! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Thank you! Man, you need to evolve soon. You can barely survive. As, even with Oh, that did not kill. Uh-oh. Alright, I'm switching out. Uh who can probably take the hit? Somebody with higher defense. I think poison might resist dark. Let's try, let's try tingle. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Even with the Eevee light, Gutsy Bat, hanging on by the skin of her fangs. Sorry. Not gonna do much, I'm level 50. Let's go with boom, burst. Windy, what's up? Welcome back. Hope you're doing good today. 
Hope you're doing well. Hope you've had a good day so far. Hope you had a good lunch. Marnie, you think, you're thinking it's been a while since we last saw her. I know, right? I love... You know what? Her battle theme just makes me feel happy. Like, somehow it's got that... It's got that happy-go-lucky, like, anime theme song feel. But it's also got that rocking guitar in the back. I'd like to hear a... Oh yeah, I'd definitely like to hear a cover of this. I bet there's a bunch on YouTube by now. Doesn't this feel like an anime, like, hero theme song? Marty, she's... Uh, we just learned something about Marty. Apparently she comes from this town. As expected of my rival, he really know how to get me riled up. Uh oh. Oh, Marty, I'm honored. Ah, uh, we need a bit tired for some reason. Yeah, it was a long day yesterday for a lot of people involved. I don't blame you in the bit. Let's go with... Boom, boss, though. Our Tonstricity just learned an amazing move. Boom, burst, 140 base damage. Especially with a boost from our wise glasses. That is going to kill most anything. Like, I got rid of the stab move for that because it was just that high. So good, so good. Tingle is a beast. You're feeling more than just a tingle now. No, Gems, it's okay. It's alright, we're here for you. This is a good place. This is a good place to be. You're, you're with friends. Marty has a Sailor Moon theme vibe. Can you imagine Punk Sailor Moon? Oh, wow, I, I kind of want to see that. That is a mood. That is uh, an aesthetic. Uh, I, I kind of want to draw that now, even though despite the fact I've never watched Sailor Moon. Maybe that'll be our anime night. Sure, why not? Because, you know, when you were a kid, you are always like, Oh, yeah, the guys watch Dragon Ball Z and the girls watch Sailor Moon. Like, apparently not. Apparently he had a rousing story and everything. I need to check it out. What's with that? My Pokemon didn't get a chance to really do that thing at all. Oh. It's okay, Marnie. I just know you'll grow stronger and get better. The gym challenge awaits. Our rabbit's evolving. Bomb ass move. The stab move does times four and times two to what Boom Burst won't. Uh, only if the Pokemon is four times weak to poison. I'm not really sure there's much that is four times weak to poison. Um, and the stab move I had was Acid, which was only 40 base power. So 40 times four, that's only 160. So, even with that, Boom Burst at 140 is not too much worse. <laughs> not really. Uh, actually, no, it's 60 times 4. 240. Eh. Congratulations! Your Raboot evolved into Cinderace! Fighting evil by moonlight. Winning love by daylight. Never running from a real fight. She is the one called Sailor Moon. I always love the theme song, though. I was actually at a Japanese market, yes, no, uh, two, three days ago with my friend. Hold on. It's skilled at both offense and defense, and it gets pumped up when cheered on. But if it starts showboating, it could put itself in a tough spot. I was at a Japanese market with some friends. Oh, yeah, Pyro Ball. With, with a friend on Sunday, and... We were, even though it was like a supermarket, it had a an action figure section, and we were walking by. We saw like some Sailor Moon action figures, and they were just playing the Sailor Moon theme on uh, television. Uh, but it was like the Japanese one. I didn't know that the Sailor Moon theme was the same in Japanese with different words. You don't, they don't really do that these days. Like just dub the actual theme song and put English lyrics on top of it. They, they should do that more. Could you imagine? Hero, could you da, 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 da. I can't think of anything on the fly. I wanna be a hero. One punch. Uh, you thought the electric? No, I'm not. I'm definitely not gonna get rid of overdrive. Overdrive is amazing. Hmm. Battlefield watched Sailor Moon on TV, but he didn't know about DBZ until way later. I am surprised. Wouldn't they have shown on the same, like, networks? Hmm. 
Konami, man. Pure fire hype. <laughs> Excited about the, the, the solo type. But you know what's good? It's good. There are English covers of the One Punch Man theme. I think they got taken down from YouTube because of copyright. But the ones that were on there before were good. Uh, I'll tell you about uh, one I knew about before, uh, after this story scene. My partner, Marpico, has been interested in you and your strength. And I think I get it now. But I got everyone in Spike Myth supporting me. You know what? Team Yell ain't so bad. They're just loud. And annoying. But you know, I like myself, so... <laughs> I'm definitely gonna get all eight gym badges so I can have a rematch with you. Don't you forget it. I'll get my revenge in the Champion Cup. I look forward to it, Marnie. Anyway, I promised I'd show you a way in, so follow me. Wait, I heard something new. Something in the grass, maybe? What made that sound? I think it was just the... Oh, that's just the, that's just the purloin evolution. Leopard. Um, there is a YouTuber who makes anime song covers that I've been watching for a while now. Whoa, I can't get away? Really? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Run. Oh, you know what? Actually, I have these and I never use them. Uh, uh, Poké Doll. There you go. The perfect time for that. I mean, we got five for free at the beginning of the game and I bought five more. I might as well use them. Oh, we're right at the Pokemon Center. We don't need to heal. You didn't have Direct TV or Cartoon Network until way later. Oh, I see. You probably, like, saw a VHS somewhere or something. We need read the Sailor Moon manga before knowing it was an anime. Yeah, it's, a, it's kind of amazing how people can experience the same thing through different means and kind of get a different impression because, like, oh, maybe people like the anime of something because it's animated so well and it turns out the manga was terrible and they improved on it, maybe. If you're feeling down, the only way is up. That's a good way to think about it, Brad. The one called Sailor Moon. All right, there's a YouTuber I know about. His name is Suko G. T U S uh, T S U K O G. Uh, he's French, but he knows French, English, Japanese, and he covers a lot of anime theme songs. Um, he's really good. He had a one Punch Man English cover at some point. Hero! I don't want everyone to shout my name one by one. I don't need fortune and fame. Something like that. Because, you know, he's just a hero for fun. Uh, okay. Dark types. I don't think I need any of these, but I will stock up on a couple of hyper potions. And uh, regular potions for the sake of, you know, the top off, you know? 40 should do it. Wow, I am just loaded. Also, Team Yell just everywhere. Hi? Hello? It's like that scene from Terminator 3. Or I guess Terminator 2 is a better, a better version of that scene. Where uh, Arnie just walks into the bar naked and everyone's just staring at him as he walks by. I need your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. They don't fit me, but they look ridiculous on you. <laughs> uh, this is Marnie's hometown. Yeah, she's from here. And apparently the rest of Team Skull, t uh, Team Yell too. You like that they give you the Poké Dolls because your initial reaction is, When am I gonna need these? Oh, you know what? You're right. They give you them right before the wild area. Right. That's actually... That's actually perfect. There's actual use for them in this game. Oh, I didn't consider that. Yeah. But, you know, you get the free run attempt when your Pokemon faints, so I've just been doing that. Whoops. I guess I, I don't care for my Pokemon enough. You! Don't you dare make Marty's Mopika cry, okay? Wouldn't dream of it. I'll just make it die instead. Any trainer who's made it all the way to spikeman has got a right wicked look to them. Well, thank you. Don't I look slightly punk? Don't I look like I belong in Spike Myth? I hope that the dark gym leader looks absolutely super punk rocky. 
Because you know, when you get his uniform for defeating him, you can just put it on and look totally aces. Well, you made it here, so I guess there's nothing to be done. You better be ready to face Piers. I was kind of trying to do like a, 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 a Harley Quinn accent. What's wrong, Mr. J? But with English, it didn't really work. Welcome to the town of Spike Myth. This rocking town has a punk vibe and street champ and chumps lined up cheek by jowl. Cheek by jowl, I like that. I can't open the shutter? Okay. I guess everyone outside will stop the wait there. Let's see if we can go in here. Nope. Alright, Marnie. Give me the give me the tour. Give me the lay of the land. The run attempt can fail? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, okay. Well, that's another reason for the Pokeball the Poke Dolls then. That's good. With the shutter closed. No one's going to be able to challenge the gym. I gotta look into this. I just happen to have too many of these, so I'll give you one, got it? <laughs> it's a more Pico. Whoop! You can handle yourself, right? Pierce's his league card. Why do you have too many of those? Do you, do you think they sell league cards in, like, booster packs? Ah, oh, yes. I got a Mystic Rare Nessa. It's shiny. Well, actually... They'd just be Pokemon cards, huh? They got these special, like, full art Pokemon cards for some of the trainer cards now. And they're super expensive. I, I looked them up. I happened to get one in a booster pack uh, because I was... I... 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 I uh, sometime last year, I got back into the Pokemon trading card game just to see how ridiculous it got. It's ridiculous. Yeah, a base Pokemon with, like, 400 HP is the norm now. Yeah, no. Oi! Welcome to Spike Myth, kid! Hope you're ready for the gym mission! These grunts are going to ruin my voice. Hold on, mate! If you want to take on the gym mission, you better change into your uniform! Wait, is this the gym here? Am I doing the challenge already? If you're looking for the gym leader, he's straight ahead from here! Drink some water, get some snacks. Having something sweet gives you some energy. And take care of yourself. That's some good advice. I need to do that myself. Hello? Gym challenger! Potion seller! You want to get past me, but I don't want that! No, I don't want that! Give me the cheeseburger! Basically, it's a battle between our desires! I feel like I give Team Yell too epic of a voice, actually. Hey, what? But you know, it's my yelling voice. Holographic Bea League card. I want one of those. I don't even get Bea. B in this one. Man. She a cutie though. Hey, I, I happen to have um, I happen to have a candid photo. Uh, don't tell anybody. Of uh, of of, of Bea out on a shopping trip. Uh, don't don't let her know. Don't let her know. It's a little bit creepy. I will admit. Oh look at her. She's so cute. What is that? She's like eating all the Twinkies. <laughs> uh, adorable. Yeah, somebody just pasted the concept art onto like a grocery aisle. But you know what? I'm down with it. That's so good. Snacking right in front of the Raisin Bran. Okay, let's go switch Sakura back out. I think I'll keep Sakura at the front of our party for now. So this place is like the slum. This place is like Midgar. Final Fantasy VII. You ever play Final Fantasy VII? It is a really fun RPG. Even even if some people think it's it's overrated, it I I had tons of fun with it back when I was in middle school. Oof. You know, coming off of Super Nintendo RPGs. Final Fantasy VII was just like such a big step forward in terms of story, scale. That thing was on three discs! Like it did a lot for video games as a whole still, and I can't wait to play the remake. Midgar, it's gonna be epic! James, what's up? How you doing? Oh, don't cry. Do not cry, but I am already dead. Stone Edge, good move. Thank Tweak doesn't play the Pokemon card game anymore, but you sometimes go to a tabletop shop and buy cards because you like the designs. They sell them individually. Honestly, that is the best way to save money, period. When it comes to... 
Man, let's uh, switch out Rock Slide. When it comes to those things, like I was saying, they got those full art cards um, with with really nice drawings by like Ken Sugimori himself. I actually do have some of them, and they're really nice. They're like holographic foil. They're embossed, so you can like see raised edges of the art itself. It's really cool. Pokemon cards, I didn't know they got so crazy. You and your Pokemon broke through! And you're just a barrier. How you doing, James? Hope you're well. You're good. Oh, that's good to hear. Seven's a good game. It just hasn't aged well. I'd say it's pretty much in the same camp as Ocarina of the Time. Ocarina of the Time. Like, I love that game to bits. But I do recognize that, you know, things have gotten better over time. But yeah, I'm still down to play it at any point. It might be the next game I play, don't tell Nash. Because I've been watching Drewby play Master Quest, and I'm just in a Zelda mood right now. I don't want to let you through! That's why I was waiting all squeezed in this crack! With that, with, with that girl behind you. You know, not doing anything weird. But since I lost, it was really all for nothing. Whatever, you won, so I guess I'll step aside. What about the girl, though? She was just there to cheer on the cheerleader? You don't even look like you could fit in here. Let's switch out Sakura to the front of the party. Gems didn't do that, but you'll take it. Oh, smash. That makes sense. What is that, Nuiki? Is that a code? Oh, that is the Smash Arena. Yeah, if anybody's got Smash, feel free. Feel free to make arenas in the chat. I won't stop you. I like the idea of having a community that, you know, can relax, max and relax and chill next to the stream. These guys aren't going to fight me, are they? Inkling! Oh. I do not like fighting against Inkling. Apparently, both of my characters, Wolf and Snake, are totally terrible matchups and cannot get close. I've been watching, like, tournament gameplay of people, like, the best Snake and Wolves I know fighting Inklings, and they just do not... They just do not win. It's, 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 it's... That's not fun. Mr. Mime's a dancing Pokemon. It makes for a cherry member of our team. You know, I thought Mr. Mime's were out in the wild in the icy area. Maybe I'll see them soon. You heard the Pokemon move light screen? Yes, it's one of the signature moves of Mr. Oh, there it is. Hi, hello. You are a regular Mr. Mime. Wait, though, I thought they were Galarian ones. I can't... I can't move! There is a wall! There is a wall! Where's Detective Pikachu when you need him? We need to conduct an investigation. There's some kind of invisible wall. You can't get through no matter how hard you try. Wait a minute! This isn't, this, this isn't how it works. No! <laughs> now we fight. Of course, there's no way you're just pacifistic. Hey. <laughs> uh, the only character Twig has played with in Smash is Punch Dog. Punch Dog? Hold on, hold on. Let me let me think who that is. It's not. It's not. It's what? Isabel? Because it's n definitely not Duck Hunt Dog. Hey Tim, Tim, we gotta investigate this, Mister Mine, Mister Mister Tim. What's this? A gym challenger made it through? All those Team Yellow members have blocked the way. Don't think we'll just let you waltz through. You just did. <laughs> oh my gosh. If there's anything they learned from Team Skull, Game Freak, they know how to make a pathetic team. If this is what they do with Pokemon teams going forward, like, I hope it doesn't get stale, but I do like it. Hammer arm! <laughs> Running Hey Tim proc the Minoka bot. Hey! Hey Tim! Hey Tim! Do you want to try on my light shoes? They let you have a levitate. Hey! Punch Dog versus Wrestle Cat. Mixed martial arts and Smash Brothers. Who would have known? I wasn't able to properly greet you. Call that a greeting, or you call that a roadblock? That was totally unbelievable. Even my Pokemon are still in all of you and your team. 
Here, come on through. Check out our neon signs while you're at it. They are very nice, I will say. Look at that emoji sign. Um, tongue Pokeball there. Someone called Lucario Punch Dog in a Pokemon Wine Nuzlocke, and we've called it that ever since. I, I keep forgetting he's in the game. Lucario! Nice. Punch Dog. Punch Psychic Dog. <laughs> Grab move is gonna wrestle cat. Oh. Uh, also. Look at that Pokeball. Pokeball, go! Buddy, buddy! That is not what a Mr. Mime says. I think. Uh oh. No, no, no. I think that's a Japanese name, like Baria or something. I can't check the box right now, can I? Oh, I can. Okay, um, here is something I meant to show off before, actually, now that we're here. Um, I did- I got some fossils, and I was able to fuse them together. I don't know if I mentioned. But, um, uh, check it out! It's an abomination! Drakovich! <laughs> Look at him! He's got the body- Wait a minute. Wait! Wait, they fused him wrong! I just noticed! It's the head of the fish on the tail of a dragon, but the- you stuck the fish hag head onto the tail end of the dragon? And then just like the meat part of the dragon is just there exposed? Ow, oh, work! You hate the fossil Pokemon, they're so bad. I... There's no way to actually make what these Pokemon are supposed to be, huh? You have to combine them in this weird... Playing God Abomination... Way, right? I kind of would have wanted them to be able to, you know, have nice existences. But if you look at the Pokédex for this one, right? How was the name of the one I just saw? Dracovich? Dracovich Malfoy! It's, it's kind of sad. It's kind of really sad. Its mighty legs are capable of running at speeds exceeding 40 miles per hour. But this Pokémon can't breathe unless it's underwater. Um, it's very sad. Every moment it's out, it's dying. So it's got the strongest legs known to man, but it can't use them. You know what you gotta do? You gotta go like SpongeBob style. You gotta put the fish bowl on its head. Can I sit here? I can. Just take a breather. Yeah, you know. In a dirty alley. I'm sure this is safe for a, a, a young woman of my age. <laughs> or maybe these are the streets I walk at night. You don't know my night job. You don't know my night job. Excuse me? What is this, Sunset Riders? I'm yelling for no reason! Nice. You want to dive bomb into some trash. Look, okay. 10 out of 10, I will admit. Did I surprise you? I'm a little surprised how much my legs hurt from that landing! If I stand still like this for too long, it'll hurt so bad I might cry! So I'll shake it off with a battle! These guys are dumb. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> you hate all the Pokedex entries are- These Pokemon are so bad at existing that they all went extinct. Well, they're not supposed to exist in that form. It's just that science has gone too far and combined tops and bottom halves of Pokemon that should not be. That's some bad archaeology. The woman who put those abominations together is literally named Carolis. She careless. She couldn't care less. That killed? What killed? What's going on? Oh, you're talking about Smash. I hope... Team Yo poses a proper threat at some point. Soak. Isn't that a move that adds water type? Yeah, there you go. Changes the targets of type to water. I'm not sure how useful it is as a move. You probably have to combine it with something else, like alongside a Pokemon in a double battle that'll that has Earthquake or something. Not Earthquake, uh grass move. I lost! My leg pain's back, so it's a double shock! <laughs> 
you okay? You need a doctor? Like, you stopped the doctor from coming to Spike Myth, if you remember back up there. So, you know, serves you right. I'm sorry, you probably should have let him ride on your turtle. Now who's laughing? But it's true that I lost, but I pushed through the pain, so you should praise me for that. Alright, now that the pain's gone, I guess I better get out of here. I kind of really wanted them to have a unique animation for limping on out of there. I kind of really wanted that. How is Sakura doing it on PP? Got a lot of PP? You need to use the bathroom? Hammer arm is probably looking... No, actually, 7 out of 10. It's a pretty good score. I give that score to Shenmue. Uh, Shenmue 3 actually came out really recently. And I've been wanting to play it. Uh, I'm a fan of the Shenmue series. It's not the best game, but still, though... I just enjoy, you know, its uniqueness that not many other games have. Invisible wall. So what? Are they going to pop out of here? Out of here? The shutters open? The shutters are going to open, aren't they? The HP of your Pokemon not looking so good. What? They have been training for this day. You got the dudes jumping out of the window with front flips and these girls doing cartwheels and all that. Wow, somersaults, actually. I'm impressed. You got your routine all saved up and everything. Too bad you gotta wait for people to actually make it to the 8th gym. Or 7th gym. <laughs> 10 out of 10. The judges have it. Yeah, perfect. They're ready for the Olympics. With Mario and Sonic. I practiced that back handspring so much, even a pop star would be jealous of those moves. Were you surprised? Oi, be surprised, you! While you're in utter shock, I'm going to sneakily win this battle! Yes, I'm sure Sayaka would be absolutely stunned. I'm psychic, you know! And that means I win the dark types! Weavile! Oh, I am so sorry. Oh, I am so sorry. You're going to die really hard right now. Ice and dark. Doubly weak to, to fighting. Not the move to use. I don't think you're going to get that setup you want. The Pokedex entries are different in Sword. That's true. They usually are different between versions. The entry for Dracovic is powerful legs and jaws made it the apex predator of its time. Its own overhunting of its prey was what drove it to extinction. Oh. Again, though. Like, how? Did they really exist as, like, Freaks of nature back then? Something doesn't add up. Still, with the Pokédex, the only way the Pokédex makes sense is if it really is written by 10-year-olds. They're just guessing. Oh, seriously? You gotta be kidding! It's over already! What? Oh, oh. I should have been practicing my battle skills, not my backflip skills! Thanks for showing me that. Guess I'll cheer off for you from now on. Oh, please don't. Actually, please do. Just do the backflips. Just don't talk. Ah, can you imagine? Team Yell hanging up banners of me, Monica. Just Monica. Oh, look at that little, 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 little physics on the hair. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Jiggle Physics in Pokemon. Oh, we're doing good. We should have five PP on hammer on because of pressure. What is this? No. Oh. I half expected a little checklist to pop up from the bottom. Um, uh, to do. Lock team yell inside garage. Team yell takes the field. This might be the gym challenge, but I won't let you ruin our cool secret hangout. All right, time for a pincer attack. We'll do whatever it takes to win. Uh oh. Oh, I didn't have enough time to get my disguise ready. <laughs> oh, look, yeah. He's got a unique model. He's not wearing the spikes in his makeup. That's right. Team Yell is actually made up of Spike with gym trainers. No wonder they're so pathetic. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, look. Gym trainer Joshua. <laughs> He's actually just a gym trainer. Oh, that's that's kind of neat. 
It's just like how um, in Sun and Moon, the punk trainers are actually just the same costume as Team Skull. They're just not wearing the Skull Bantana. I'm surprised that they never really went into that. Hammer Arm. Uh, you. Tingle Lux wants to be petted. Again, I'm sorry, but it doesn't work. Should I Boom Burst? Hit everybody? Nah. Hit all the opponents instead. There you go. We never do find out if those fossil Pokemon really existed. They're abominations either way. I think we can all agree on that. Just Monica. Drapion. I have a Drapion. I named it a Scorpion. Because he's like an accordion scorpion. Cinderace gaining all these levels and never seeing a moment of battle. At some point, we're gonna take him to the Elite Four. <laughs> and I'll be like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hop's gonna wonder how we got one. He is the only score bunny in all of Galore. It would have been better if you just lost to us. Did I lose as a member of Team Yell? Or was I beaten as a gym trainer? Same all the same to me, buddy. Oh, uh, whatever. Our gym leader's up next, but he's really strong. Got that? I mean, everybody already knew the true identity of Team Yell, right? Th no? That means I won't get in trouble for not getting my disguise on, right? I sure hope so. You know, that's the, um, the modeler at Game Freak being disappointed that he was only able to use that variant of Team Skull model, the Team Yell model once. I think that's the only time we'll ever see Team Yell out of uniform. All right, gym fight's up next. Let's restore. We got this in the bag. Don't even worry about it. I'm just gonna keep out Sakura and we're gonna make a big, giant Gigantamax. Lump of berries, restore PP. Easy, easy, easy. Brad's gotta go, you gotta take off for now. See you in the next mission. All right, Brad, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for being here, sir. You are appreciated and your presence is always, always a good, pretty good time. Everyone, also check out Brad, uh, he streams, well, Everyone knows, but I'm going to give the courtesy of a shout out. He is a cool dude, a good friend of mine in real life, even before we did streams. And I just, I just appreciate having him in my life. Ooh. Oof. Oh, oh, what is that game? Look at that, that game that you say that, that it says you were playing. You were saying you were playing Dong and Rome, but Trigger Happy Havoc. I guess the secret's out. Dude, I absolutely want to see you continue that game. I hope you haven't forgotten everything. Oh. Oh. Is that a... Nice pyramid. <laughs> uh, have a good night, Brad. I'll see you later. <laughs> nice oof pyramid. Aw, oh, yeah. <laughs> Shut your gob! Oh, oh, oh. That one... That one Team Yell member... Actually, that one... Team Yell member out of uniform, though. Shut your gob! Oh, oh, Anoka. Oh, I'm really sorry. The lot from Spikebutt's telling me they locked down the cities for my sake. What, so you'd be the only one to do the Chim Challenge? The Chim Chim Cherry Challenge? Spikebutt just keeps getting worse and worse. And all Pierce says is don't worry. So, so we decided to disguise ourselves as Team Yell and sabotage the other challenges. We thought we could. If we could stop ever the other gym challenges from reaching the gym, then Miss Mari would be the only one to win and make it to the Champion Cup. That is cheating. That is not fair to everybody. I don't want Mari to be disqualified, though. I won't tell. You guys won't either, right? We figured that it would increase the chances of our wonderful Miss Mari becoming the new champion. <sighs> That's no way to help someone at all. Monoka. Monica. No need to bother with all the preparations or whatever. Go on in and face the gym leader. Oh, we don't get to fight that one. Oh. What is this underground battle here going on um, right now, right here? That's kind of cool. Neon lights. 
I'm going to be giving Piers my best year of showing his battle with you. Oh man, Miss Molly's gold is going on forever. I remember once she scolded her Malpicos for so long, it practically fell asleep. I don't think the more Pico took it seriously. I can hear Piers just walking away. His Pokemon chorus sounds pretty good too. Pretty good. Dude, dude, just talking about Detective Pikachu. Also, I really like that Sableye sign over there. I'd like a replica of that. This is just like that underground Pokemon fights down in, um, in the city. The Rhyme City. Detective Pikachu. Look at this, man. What's he singing? A A P O K E M O N Pokemon. I can't tell if Team Yell is cheering or booing. I remember um, the Roxy from Gen 5. Our gym would actually have music that they were playing. Uh, so you're finally here, huh? See, I I'm. I'm really not a great gym leader. Figured that's why nobody was coming to challenge me. Why are you seventh then? I have good ears, so I overheard this whole thing about the city being shut up. When I was alone, it was like my soul was weeping. This is a simple gym stadium. We can't even Dynamax a Pokemon, but well, I still hope you enjoy the battle. Wow. Yeah. Pokemon League doesn't give any funding to him, huh? They're behind the chain link fence. It's just like Rhyme City's underground Pokemon fights. Now then. They definitely could have done a Roxy here. But it's... I like the idea that it's not even really a gym. They didn't even give him, like, the official building and everything. It's just an alley. I'm the gym leader of Spike Myth. Piers, the dark type user. You want to challenge me even though you know you lose? Then this song's for you, foolish trainer. Get ready for a mosh pit with me and my party. Spike Myth, it's time to rock! Yeah! Woo! Look, I feel bad that his only... His only... His, his only... Company is Team Yell. Also, that's the thing. Look at that. Look at that. You know why you don't like him? I like him. He looks cool. Look, look at that logo. That's the Team Yell logo. Rotated 90 degrees. I guess it's like a D for dark. Like, if that didn't spoil things for me, having seen that logo earlier, I don't know what did. I really like this arena. It looks amazing, actually. Everyone, cheer on my Pokemon. Let's do it. Scrafty, intimidate the opponent. Oh, no. My attack, though. He knew what would happen. Don't worry, I'll just buff it back up. Sand attack? I don't know about this guy being a bad gym leader. He's going all out with the dirty tactics. Lowering my attack, lowering my accuracy. What's he doing? More sand? Okay, that's lame. You know what? Oh. Yeah, it's different gym music because they can't have the same. They can't have that. There's not a big enough crowd. They can't do the cheering thing. And he says there's no Dynamax. Let's hope I don't miss. Okay, stop that. There's sand in my eye. Pocket sand. I'm gonna miss. Yeah, no way. All right, well, if you're going to keep doing that, I'm going <gasps> to... What can I do besides this? Do I have any moves that never miss? Oh, three. Let's go back to Spizalotl. No, no, no. I don't have any moves. Oh, wait, you need a double kick on Cinderace. You're a bit underleveled. No. I don't know if you survive. Now we'll keep you around. Spizzlotl, will you turn back into Sakura? There we go, there we go. I guess the last gym was the one to use the hype techno raid music. Ow! Rude. You turn. No, me turn. Boom. Not a lot of damage, but it's something. 
That way we get our attack back as Sakura and our accuracy. Oh man, I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss the the, the gym theme. I, I I'm assuming I'm gonna go fight Raihan for the last gym. He's gonna go back to the usual, the usual usual music, and it's gonna be epic. It's playing in my head. How many Pokemon do you even have? I like that he's uh, kept his microphone out the whole time. Malamar. What the heck's a Malamar? Not a Magmar, that's for sure. What? Oh, no, you're the the, fit, the squid. Malamar's gonna mess you all up with its contrary ability. C contrary? I'm kind of scared now. Says he's a bad gym leader. I don't know. There's something. There's something here. Make stat changes have an opposite effect. Oh. Well, I'm... Okay, I'm guessing I gotta speed up from Hammer Arm right now. Psycho Kutta! You have a psychic move? Speed up, baby. Do it. Oh, wait. Does Contrary only affect... It probably only affects stat mm, status changes on him itself. I see. I see. Never mind. You like Malamar. I like him. He's an upside down squid. I gotta tell you right now how he evolves. Uh oh. I was kind of counting. Why does it keep criticaling? Stop it. I can use all my hyper potions. Uh, Malamar evolves from a Pokemon called Inke, which is this cute little squiddy. Look him up, he's adorable. Alright, can I withstand another attack? I'm not sure. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna heal again. Can you imagine? This isn't in a giant stadium full of people, but... Could you imagine if this was actually broadcast for everybody? They would just be booing me. This would be like a terrible fight to watch. <laughs> okay, um... Inke uh, is a Pokemon, a squid Pokemon that evolves through one of... Probably one of the weirdest methods in all of Pokemon history. I'm going to switch to a different Pokemon. Comfy chair. Let's stall for a little bit. You evolve him by leveling him up, but you must also be holding the Nintendo 3DS system upside down. And the evolution will not trigger unless you do. And considering he's in this game, I guess you have to take your Switch out and hold it upside down as well in order for him to evolve. It's silly. I love it. I love it. They're getting creative. Foul play. What are you doing? Stop it. Yeah, how about you like that? Are you dead? No, but one more hit and you probably will be. I don't even have to do anything. It's gonna end up killing yourself. I'm just gonna use a hyper potion. A super potion. Sure, why not? There's some pretty weird evolutions this gen. I mentioned earlier what the evolution for... Why would you kill yourself like that? I mentioned earlier what the evolution for Yamask is. And it's basically on the level of like Playground Rumors from elementary school. Oh, it's the goon? Heck yeah, let's go ahead. Switch back to Sakura. Now this is a fight worth having. Galarian Yamask? Like not even. I'm just gonna say something about it. Time to meet another member of my crew! Face the proud high roar by Osagoon! Look at you, Gene Simmons, you're all grown up! Dang! Let's bulk up. Obstruct, what does that do? Protected itself. I guess it's just like a dark type version of protect. But too bad I didn't attack. Got him! Your counter is useless if I miss. 
So Yamask evolves. You basically have... It's, I don't know, it's probably based on Japanese folklore. But first, you have to have it take at least 40 points of damage in a battle. And then you have to take it to some random spot in the middle of the wild area. And then it will evolve. Like, uh, okay? But why? What awakened inside of it? Like, I thought getting the unknown back in Gen 2 was... Was, 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 you know, fancy back then. Like, no. I'm not gonna use counter. I think I could take a move. Take a hit at Cinderace. It's gun tank. I don't get on tours, do I? I don't do on tours, get it? Not songs, not moves, not Pokemon. He's too proud to use a revive, unlike me. Everyone's gonna stink, but who cares? Ghost Gun Tank, use your Sucker Punch and Toxic! You got Toxic? Uh oh. Oh, Don't worry, you won't survive after one attack. Ow! Rude, do not yell at me. I'm surprised that Team Yell doesn't have Pokemon that only use Screech. Not 40, 49. That is so specific! Why did I not move? I flinched? Look at Skun Tank. He's got like the pompadour on him. Wah bam! Oh, you're a poison type, aren't you? Well, this battle was pretty one sided. We don't even get a Gigantamax. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, let's go dig. That'll be super effective. Hey now, Sucker Punch while I'm digging. Rude. Well, uh, good luck doing it again. I won't be above the ground. You like Piers and his flair. I like his fashion. I can't wait to put on his clothes. It's not creepy or anything. I promise. Bum ba da bum. Oh. You know that would be the Pokemon to use earlier if you have an ability like that. Just saying. Well, there it is. Piers, Piers, Piers. You put up a good fight! Oh! Drama Queen. <laughs> uh, toxic hit me underground. Was that toxic? I thought that was the effect of Aftermath. I'm not sure what happened. That was weird. Me and my team give it our best. Let's meet up for a battle again sometime. Let us do so. Piers, your design is too cool for a one-time gym battle. <gasps> oh! Gutsy bat! Yes, 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 yes! Gonna evolve into a Casey bat. Look at this big lad! Noivern! So good, so good. One of my favorite Pokemon. He's so epic! I was toxic while I was underground. Huh! Well, that's good to know. Once I have... If I ever need to toxic something with my uh, toxicity, and I know it's going to die. Oh, yeah, no. Toxicity four times weakness to ground. I might as well toxic to get one more, you know, attack in. Flying through the darkness. It weakens enemies with ultrasonic waves that could crush stone its fangs. Finish the fight. Uh oh, low battery. Sailor Moon, that's what you are. Dragon Pulse, let's 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 do it. We already have Draco Meteor, but it's nice to have a move that doesn't have our special attack. Air Slash! Super Fang, let's go! You know, we don't need Super Fang anymore. Now our goal is to go for the kill, not just do half damage. There you go, there you go. Gutsy Bat doing in some work. Nice, nice! See, my Pokemon skills aren't totally rubbish, eh? Well, what makes me a good Pokemon trainer? If I were a bad trainer, I wouldn't be sitting here discussing it with you now, would I? I'm glad we were able to battle. Seems like my Pokemon feel the same way. I think we bonded here. What's with the dude sitting at the monitor back there? Was he like the official battle recorder? 
<laughs> oh yeah, he's just an employee of the Pokemon League, but he's forced to dress up like Team Yell because it's the gym uniform. <laughs> yeah, totally. Here's your Dark Bunch. No. Oh, so sad. Even the Toxels. Oh. One more piece, baby. They're all in despair. <laughs> Catch Pokemon up to level 55. Here's a uniform, too. I've actually been thinking about just selling them at my concerts. Ooh. Dark uniform. My little sis Marnie's gonna challenge me next, I bet. That was actually kind of sweet. What, how I totally destroyed him? Sir, you were watching, sis. You won't learn anything from seeing me lose. I was watching your battle, bro. Did we know they were related? I can't, I can't act surprised because I, I, I got spoiled on them being brother and sister. But, but however though, uh, I can pretend to be surprised now. What? They're related? Uh, possibly. I was watching your battle, bro. It's how I learned to battle and all that. That right? That reminds me, Marnie. There's something I wanted to tell you. I want you to take over the gym here in Spikebeth as its gym leader. Yeah, I know. You plan to retire after, champ after the Champion Cup, right? I think you've really become a great gym leader, even if you don't Dynamax your Pokémon. Look, honestly, Dynamax is a gimmick. Don't tell Game Freak what. <laughs> I'm gonna get arrested by Officer Jennies if I say anything bad about this game. I love you, but my answer is a big fat no, no, no! <laughs> it's a big fat... No, no, no! I mean, when I end up becoming champion, I won't be able to be a gym leader. Oh! <laughs> Good point. In that case, let your big bro see if you have the skill to be a champion. Hey, Monoka. Thanks for having an amazing Pokemon battle with my brother. It's my turn next, so clear off for a bit, okay? <laughs> Again! She can be a little bit forceful, buddy. You know, it's just so cute. You seriously beat Pierce? Here, have a tea and remember this moment. Snarl! Again with that move. I just realized that this theme is actually a remix of the gym theme. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Oh, what's going on? Hey, there's some trouble over on Route 9. It's so bad, even the champions come to sort things Ooh. out. Oh, hey, you gave Pierce a thrashing, didn't you? You should head over there to help. Come on, then. I'll show you the way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Story? Apparently, Story is hijacking the plot here. All right, we got some time. Let's see what this is all about, then. What? Kaboom! Oh, it's whatever was happening. Back in Hammerlock. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Minoka! Uh. Mm, mm, mm. Pretty good. Minoka, thanks for coming. But I'm gonna handle on this. Whatever's making that noise, I'll see to it. I already told you, didn't I? Keep your eye on the goal. And for you, that's winning the gym challenge. I don't know. If the safety of the region is at stake, wouldn't you want all the help that you can get? The only gym badge left is the one you'll need for the Dragon Gym's leader, Raihan, right? Raihan's the only trainer out there I consider a real rival. He's that good, you know. <laughs> Something tells me Leon's never actually tried the uh, Battle Tower. I swear, they'd give him a run for his money. They'd probably have those hacked Pokemon like Wonder Guard Spirit Tombs and uh, maybe like those match champs that have that one hit KO move with also the ability to never miss. You know the ones. And there I go again. Sorry, but I suppose this is no time for me for me to be stopping for a chat. There's a bit of trouble here with my name on it. But don't you worry about a thing. The unbeatable champion is here to look after things and keep you all safe. Yeah, he's totally gonna lose to whatever that big old threat is, isn't he? That came from the tunnel, wouldn't you say? Seems like I'm about to have a champion time. Leon, no! 
No, I, I you're not you're not gonna survive. <laughs> okay, well, let's take the EV light off of Gutsy Bat. Um, not gonna do anything for him now. Oh, look at him. So fetch. Isn't he, though? Let's swap him over to the front. How about that? Or her, actually. Swap the item over to Gutsy Bat. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Now I can put the Eevee light on Sakura, actually. She's not fully evolved. Ba, 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 da, 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 da. Aces. And a uh, critical hit on Cinderace. Sure, why not? Oh, this is good. This is good. We are doing great. All right, we'll check out whatever the story event is, and then we'll call it for a stream. How about that? I think that sounds about good. Thank Twig can help me trade evolve Sakura. Oh, um, yeah, sure. Um, I was gonna. Mm. Let's do it after the stream, huh? Yeah, because I, I was kind of like already on pace to do this right now. I'd say I'd rather have the challenge. What's with all this crazy shaking, Leon? What's going on? What's off here? Why is there a wild dyn a wild Dynamax Pokemon? Uh oh, Spaghettios! Hello? Not now, Leopard. Hop, why do you just stand in there? Help your brother! Minoka! This is mad. You know what I mean? Where's Leon? What was that noise? I'm more concerned about Leon. He's pants with directions. He probably like went the other way out of the tunnel. Oh, it takes a special kind of person to get lost in a tunnel. <laughs> with only two exits and two two exits. That's what I'd like to know. That noise. He was like some massive explosion. There was this huge surge of red light, and then wild Pokemon just started dynamaxing around me, brazen as you like. Uh-oh. That's not good. Alright, I see the threat here now. Oh, it's so big. Take a look at the news. On your phone device. <laughs> okay, so maybe not just one Pokemon, but a bunch. See, there's Lee. He really is the greatest, right? Along with a big cat. Lee and his Charizard took down that Dynamax Pokemon in the blink of an eye. I knew Lee was strong, but this really makes you appreciate how great he is, eh? Let's go meet up with him, Minoka. He should be at Hammerlock Stadium. Oh, no. Oh, no, that's not good. The Pokemon are too big. Now they'll never get into Smash Brothers at this rate. They'll never add a Galarian Pokemon to, to Smash Ultimate. Oh, come on. Can I just, like, fly into Hammerlock? We don't have time for this. You know, we'll show off our gutsy bat. I acknowledge your strength. Please indulge me in a contest of strength and wits. Sir! Sir, Kaiju Pokemon are rampaging across the country, and you are here trying to double-aid me. Actually, double aid's a pretty cool Pokemon. Seriously, these people have no sense of urgency. Dragon Pulse! Ba -ba -ba -da. Oh, you survived, huh? I didn't realize the steel resisted dragon. One of those things, huh? Dragon Porosu! One more should do it. I feel like Draco meteoring the next one just because. Yeah, just for funsies. Cinderace rapidly catching up to the rest of the team. Pass Simeon. Never heard of it. Are you like the, the counterpart to Oranguru? Yes, you are. That's why. Passion Fruit Simeon, I get it. Alright, time to summon Meteor and end the world. Sippy Roth! Da 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 da! Sippy Roth! No, I thought that move would look a bit more epic. It is the strongest dragon move, after all. Holty guys! There you go, we finally see one. Not in the wild, but. Somebody has one. Are you authentic, sir? Doesn't matter. You die all the same. Double blade is cool, though. 
Yeah, the Dublade, uh, I think, um, showing up two generations ago. Definitely one of my favorites in terms of design. Oh, you are a, you are a thick lad. Yeah, let's switch out for, what's good against Ghost? Ghost, though. I got a bug type move. Do I really not have anything against Ghost? That's not a tingle. Am I familiar with the Pokemon manga? Oh, um, uh, not, what's it, what's it called? Not Pokemon Adventures, is it? Uh, the, the, the one that stars, like, uh, red. Right? It's the one where you can see Pokemon inside the Pokeball while they're still withdrawn, right? Yeah, I remember that. Um, I actually had a copy of the very first volume way back when, when Pokemon was first starting. Pokemon Special. Pokemon Special. I think that might be it? That might be what it's called in, like, Japan? Let me, let me look that up. Pokemon Special. Pokemon Special. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is Pokemon Adventures. Yeah, in Japan, it's called Pokemon Specials. It's Pokemon Adventures. Uh, that's the one. I had the very first issue. Um, I found it in a thrift store, of all things. I don't think... To this day, I don't think... That it was supposed to be sold there. Because there's no... There was no section for books or anything. I think, like, some kid brought it into the store and left it on a shelf, and I happened to pick it up, and they had it. They had it in their system for sale, so I don't know. They just scanned the barcode. It might be, like, a generic thing. But yeah, that was a cool manga. It was brutal. Like, Pokemon actually died in that manga. It's still coming out. Yeah, I heard about that to this day. I heard it's pretty good. I should want, I should read it. Ah, uh, see, yeah, exactly as I thought. Nice. Got the money, money. Let's go heal up our big old bat, 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 bat. It's already in their sword shield arc. They were always ahead. They didn't have to worry about filler. So it's not like the anime where they like create whole new leagues out of nowhere. I always wondered, like, you know, like the Orange League and all those extra filler leagues in the anime, if they would ever like make games that are based on those, but they never did. I know there are fan games based on it. Should we, should we, should we make some curry? Nah, we don't got the time. You, uh, it, out of here. No, I don't, I don't want to fight you. I need to go to Hammerlock. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. On my bike, let's go. I'm a little bit sad that the bike doesn't have its own music. Na, 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 but it's a manga, isn't it always black and white? <laughs> Over here! Well, if it isn't Minoka, I'd expect nothing less from you and your Charizard, Leon. Did you already take care of the problem? Wait a minute. I'm starting to think that this situation is manufactured, but why? He took down that Dynamax Pokemon in no time at all! Yeah, somehow you both made it back here and I know the battery's low Hold, Hank, stop, you're crying Switch controller Somehow, Leon who is terrible at directions, got here first and defeated the Pokemon in record time. He probably just has a level 100 Well, I am the unbeatable champion after all, but what all is going on here? In our flowing red light? Pokemon Dynamaxing without a power spot? Yeah, but why? It's Nano Machine, son. I'm not sure. What's going on? That red light could suddenly appear again at any time and we'd have no way of knowing. Magnolia! Oh, sorry. I didn't think you'd become relevant again in the plot. But being able to predict such things is part of a scientist's work. Your theme is so peaceful for someone who's researching the end of the world. Grand! 
The chairman called for me. He wanted to know all about the red light's relationship to the Dynamax phenomenon. The chairman know anything? Nothing worth my time. The chairman's all wrapped up in fretting over the future of our energy, apparently. He's left everything to that executive lady. We just don't have enough data. That's why I wanted to ask you to start looking into things too, Sonia. You know more than anyone about the darkest day, after all. Oh, sure, yeah, history is repeating itself. The, um, worst event in the history of mankind. You know, besides, uh, the killing game. <laughs> and it's happening all over again, and we're not, you know, worried or scared. Uh, are you saying that the red light and the darkest day are connected? Uh, hey, hey, do you reckon there's anything we could do to help out? I'll, I'll I'll talk about the uh, Pokemon manga in just a sec. Actually, I actually had something prepared for that. Uh, now that you remind me. Hey, do you reckon there's anything we could do to help out? Um, I don't know if there's anything you could do, Hop. Oh, I can't be mean to the guy. Yeah, come on, let's go. We'll we'll train our Pokemon and fight, fight, fight. Yeah, we'll help. Thanks. I appreciate the thought. But all I could ever ask of you would be that you join me in the greatest final match ever. I'll do my part to make sure that happen. I'll do my part to make sure that happen. I found a typo in a Pokemon game. Wow, how many people noticed this? I'll do my part to make that happen. No, wait, no. Alright, everyone laugh at me. I thought I found a typo. I just read it wrong. I'll do my part to make that happen by keeping everyone's future safe. I thought he said it makes sure that happen. So you just keep on doing your part by winning your way through the gym challenge. Right, of course. You're the unbeatable champion after all, eh? <laughs> Thanks for the laughs. Ren, there's something I wanted to look into. You'll help me, right? Naturally. You were close. Wonderful. Is Magnolia just Professor Oak? Galarian form. Looks like we'll... Uh... All know what we need to do, so you two clear the gym challenge so we can meet again at the Champion Cup. No one here is like uh, phased by the giant Pokemon that just appeared out of nowhere. We didn't even get to see it. I wonder if the game like was supposed to have a big old scene and it just cut it. Uh oh. <laughs> like there's not even any destruction. I would imagine that you know some buildings would be toppled over or something. I know what I need to do. All right, defeat that PS once and for all. Here off the Hammerlock Stadium, yeah, I'm an Earth Monica. Right hand's a tough nut to crack. Well, I mean, it is November, so I guess we can't really fight him until next month. But I'm sure. All right, okay, Hop, you go on towards it. Uh, Piers is not that hard of a gym leader. We're not gonna go fight right hand right now. Although it's weird, like. We could. We could just do it. Nah, nah, nah. It's getting late. It's getting late. I'll keep everybody's sleep schedules in mind. Alright, so Pokemon Adventures. Uh, Weenie says it's interesting how the characters and lore are so different from the games in anime. Like, it is legit. I, re I don't remember much. I need to go find my copy of the first volume. But it's got, like, death, like, touching stories with you know, real emotion. It's very much a manga that just happens to have Pokemon as a theme. It is. Cool. I should I should read back up on it. Uh, you don't need to know this, but the girl character is shield and the boy is sword. Oh, in the manga, huh? Yeah. In the games, they're named, uh, Gloria and Victor. Which is actually pretty thematic. Glory and Victory. There you go. Okay, so, uh, Talking about the Pokemon manga, before I end the stream, check this out. Look, look! It's the it's one of the first panels. Should I call you two? I still don't know your names. I'm Sodo Surugi. You can call me So. Whatever works for you. So Sodo. Sword. I'm Shilmila Tight. Call me Shilla. Look at how adorable Gloria Shilly Shield is. Aw, oh, she's got the personality of a winner. Oh, look at that. Genki. Genki Dayo, Genki Des. I'm Professor Magnolia. You don't have to call me Maggie, though. And whoever this guy is, Marvin? Mar Marvy? 
I just had this. I just had this on my desktop because I wanted to show you guys if it ever became relevant. Like she is so cute. Sodo. That's literally how you'd say sword in Japanese. Sodo. And shield Emilia. Shield, 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 shield Emilia. Tsurugi. Oh, you're right. You're absolutely right. Tsurugi is also a Japanese word for sword. As in, like, Mitsurugi Kenji from Ace Attorney, Gakuten Saibon, Edgeworth. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. The anime does shy away from death. I don't even remember any deaths in the Pokemon anime. Except for maybe Ash turning to stone, but you know, he got better. Three deaths that were permanent and the two of them are in movies. Hmm. You know, to be honest, I stopped watching the Pokemon anime after a while. I... Should I catch up? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But for now... For now, that was Pokemon. Uh, 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 uh... I'm going to end the stream and find somebody to raid. Uh, but, you know, if there are multiplayer shenanigans to do... Um, feel free to contact me after the stream and we can do a little, 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 little trade, trade, trade sequence. Uh, but I'm going to end right now. There was death in the Latios Latios movie, one in the Lucario and Mystery of Mew, and one in Sun and Moon. Hmm. Wonder who dies. Definitely not Ash. Dude, if... I, I, the new anime is doing... I was mentioning before a thing where they're traveling from region to region, but also Ash is traveling with this whole new character that it kind of feels like they're making him the new protagonist. They don't, they're not gonna kill off Ash in the anime, do you think? I don't think so, they wouldn't do that. 20 years and they would actually, no, no, he's gonna live a long life or maybe he's gonna wake up from that coma. <laughs> that coma he's in. Shield is hyper, so is chill but can kill oh yeah I like it I think I I had another panel I don't have another panel to show you the anime but it's cool uh, let's see if we got any anime uh, uh, anime fan art for the stream anything new nothing new but you know if you ever have any fan art to show uh, at the end of the stream related to the games I play or memes I say then feel free to post it to the Discord or tweet it at me, and I will show it right now. You weren't expecting to get that emotional on an episode of Pokemon with death? But the episode in Sun and Moon really got ya? Oh, now I'm intrigued. Hmm. Hmm. Mature themes in Pokemon? Whoa. I'll check it out at some point. Um... But yeah, thank you everybody for being here. Thank you for hanging out. It was a fun time. I hope you enjoyed. We kicked Piers' butt. Not the most epic gym leader, but I could feel the energy and the genuineness coming off of him. Like he says he's not the best gym leader. He's the only one that prop that really like takes advantage of his Pokemon's abilities and actually is aware of them. I like that. I appreciate that. I respect that. So I can't wait. Okay, next time we're gonna go fight Raihan, uh, Dragon type gym leader, I believe. Same as Claire from Gen 2. And I don't know what's gonna happen. If we're gonna go straight to the Pokemon League or what? But we'll see. We'll see. My original plan was to go finish the game by Friday. On Friday? And we can do an extra long stream then. If not, we'll do a Saturday stream. We'll do a Saturday stream. I'll, I'll promise myself this time. And, you know, looking forward to CDI Zelda. If I can ever figure out how to get that emulator working, I still I still have promised you guys that. I should do it before I get any more followers. <laughs> I'll definitely lose some as part of that. But, uh, yeah. Uh, all right. Okay. If you haven't already, you can follow me to catch me live next time I stream this or any other game. Uh, tomorrow is a stream break. I gotta go drive out for Thanksgiving. But we'll do a short Thanksgiving stream on Thursday and stream on Friday. Uh, you can also subscribe to the YouTube channel to catch videos of games I've played before. And you can also follow the Twitter and join the Discord for updates. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah! Okay. Um, thank you guys once again. Uh, we're gonna find somebody to raid. But for now, if you need to go to sleep, I will let you, and I will say goodbye to everybody in the chat, as I usually do. 
But for everybody out on YouTube, that's the end of the video. I'll see you next time in the next video. It'll be a few days, but I hope it's worth it. All right, stay clucky. Goodbye.